Uh, I'm so tired, but I just can't seem to get no sleep. Cause there's something nasty in between my sheets. Oh, what the hell did she do to me this time? Oh, what the hell did she do to me this time? Oh, Amber, should I call you Amber Waves of Pain? Drive around with no pants on with a chain. Stealing people's toilet paper that's lame. When you can use the verdict from the UK. Oh, my Amber Waves of Pain. Try to ruin Johnny's name. Now he's gonna go to court with you. And you can never tell the truth. You get locked up in those chains. I hope you get locked up in those chains. Enjoy being locked up in those chains. Oh, my amber waves of pain. That's the first time I've used that um, was the intro. <laughs> As the intro. Um, I said, what an intro I think. Yeah. You heard it here first, live, uncut. <laughs> okay, let's say hello to everybody. Oh, I've lost all my comments now. There you go. Let's, let me go back up. <clears throat> so we've got Real Panster. Hey, Real Panster. Hey, Sean B. Hi, hey, guys. Hey, hey DJ H. And... Um, uh, hey, KK. Okay, KK. Hey, hey Iga. No. Hey, little Miss Anonymous. Okay, well, she's going to, she, she needs to be asked about We'll be right back. No worries, little Miss Anonymous. Take time. Um, do we do we do? We have one chatting away. Hey, Jenny Gordon. On the arm there as well. Uh, um, screens are near this. Hello, Evan here as well. Hey, Evan. Sean B, how I love thee. Oh, yeah. Are you, are you on a hyper one already? Yeah. I mean, look at that picture right there. My avatar. That was a dream what come true. That? As is that, me and is that my fun, boys though? with boys. Two men, that's they're they're picking up the tree, so oh. it, it might get a bit loud over here on my end. So I'll probably end up having to um, mute quite a bit. No, nice. perfect time. So, yeah. I know, sorry, an avatar. He's telling everyone. What? Oh no, that's uh me and my boys and boys to men. Um, what do you call it? So obviously, guys, we're going to do a recap of of um, this week, week three, and it's been a, a better week. I think the way it ended than how it ended last week. Like with last week, the way it ended was um, when they made Johnny Depp listen to that audio of him trying to hurt himself, and mm -hmm. I think it, it was heartbreaking the way they left that. It was awful. Yeah. Whereas this but, week we've had a lot of good stuff coming out. Go on, but. No, he bounced back from that quickly, didn't he? Yeah, he did. I feel like he's um, seen all the love and support that he's getting. Um, so what do you think is your highlight witness testimony of this week? And I want to let everyone else highlight 
witness testimony of this week was as well. For me, there's quite a few. But... <laughs> there were some really good ones, you know, of course. But my highlight was um, Mr. Connolly. <laughs> I loved how everyone was just having such a hard time with his accent, you know. I'm and then trying to have time with this accent at all. No, I, I understood him just fine. But I was listening to it on Legal Bites. And of course, they do their commentary. They're all lawyers and whatnot, but they were just like, they couldn't understand what the heck he was on about. Yeah. I was just like, really? He just said this. But, he goes, you know, there's some. What of. Sorry, go on. No, go ahead. I'm done. I was just reading the comment. He goes, based on what I've seen so far, AH has probably gotten her team to try and um, try for the low blows and has them pushing his buttons now that she can't do it herself. You know what I think is a big show is, guys, like in the court? If you look at like Amber Heard's legal team's table and you look at Johnny Depp's table, like her table is full of papers. They all look dead stressed out. Whereas Johnny Depp's table is just nice and clear, and they look like a little family, all cuddling, <laughs> all huddling together and having a laugh and everything. Um, but what I'm going to do for everybody, like like I said, recap, is I'm, like I did for you before we started, Gary, is I'm going to just quickly, day by day, um, so we can have a reminder of who was on day by day. Okay. And, and I'm, I'm going to be going over everything um since we're gonna do that uh let me just get comfortable all right go on love <sighs> and and then we can we can all talk about it so on, mm -hmm. on day yeah <coughs> on monday which is day eight we um obviously we finished johnny Depp's redirect and I thought that was amazing when they played the audio. I'll tell them this here. I'll get to the DV and see how many people believe our side with you. And yes, that was amazing the way that they ended Johnny Depp's redirect. And then after Johnny Depp did his redirect, we had Ben King. Me and Gary watched this one together because he was off work. And he was so cute. Like the like, I was like, oh, I look like him. Um, I just wanted to wrap him up in cotton wool. He was so so sweet. Hey, the doctor. Um, yeah, do you remember, obviously <laughs> you were the same. You got a little man crush on him as well. He's like, he's so cute. Yeah, no, absolutely. Love this he's, guy. He's so lovely. Yeah, he was super sweet. Yeah. He's so cute. Yeah, and so then proper. King. With Ben King, obviously, was when um, they was asking him about how Johnny Depp, how, how he knew Johnny Depp got his finger decapitated. And he told him, well, I knew because Dr. Kip told me. And then he, he went, hearsay, objection, hearsay. And the judge was like, you can't. That was, but that was your own question. And he objected <laughs> to himself. Was like, really? uh, that was hilarious. <laughs> I was like, um, you asked the question. Yeah. Bless his heart. It was funny, and I, I kind of felt bad ben for him King at the same time. Even Ben King was like that. Um, right. <laughs> and another thing that pointed out to me with that that testimony was Ben King was saying that um, he had more photos. Like I want to see them pictures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know what? I was thinking that you know the reason why he didn't send all of them because they would just be duplicates of what he already took and you know? yeah, well he did so, say that there was some that hadn't been seen and that he could show them there and then i hope that he got pulled from me yeah. afterwards to get yeah that would be that would be uh that would be great the marble because <laughs> he said the marble top he had he said that he had a picture of the broken vodka bottle uh, and he had a picture oh thank you susan he had a picture of the golden thank you, susan. Um, he, he had a picture of the um, the marble top that was broken, which is where um, the bottle, where Johnny Depp's fingers were, where did he, yeah. he had his finger decapitated. 
Can you imagine that? That's one picture that, if any, please, that one, yeah. submit it somehow. Or at least post it. Because <laughs> she was trying to say that he was done, he did it by the phone and all that. So for him to, yeah. if he's got this picture of this broken marble top, where his hand was, and the vodka bottle, the vodka bottle neck it was with the label around it. There, mm. done, dusted. Like that is that is that proven without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, exactly. And then they asked um the 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 property manager if he saw any smashed phones. He said no. Exactly. That's why we ran about Ben King. He said he said no no smashed phones. Um Oh yeah, Ben King. Yeah. Some of those pictures would just be day by day to show where mugs were placed, what mail had arrived, where decorations were put, etc. Still could be interesting. Yeah, but he did he did actually you're right, E. Colin, Gary's right. But the fact that he said that he had a photo of the vodka bottle and he's got a photo of the mat. I'm sure he said he had a photo of the mat, the broken marble top, that he took a picture of it. I'm paraphrasing now, but I'm pretty sure he said he did. I know for a fact that he said the vodka bottle neck he did, didn't he? Well, he, he knew what what kind of vodka it was because he saw the top half of it through the label. Yeah, he said he had a picture ass. of that. Yeah, he said uh, he had a picture I'm of not that. sure if he said he did because you know, whilst I'm listening to it, I'm oh, working yeah. at the same time, so I'm not catching. Well, he was with me. Time. We watched we watched this together. Which one? The one with the with Ben King. The one ben King, King was Monday. Yeah, that was on Monday. Oh. We watched that one together. Um, <laughs> so, and the other thing that pointed out to me with Ben King was that he turned around and said that it, he was asked whether, because he organised all the clean up, and he was asked whether um, he had to clean up any urine, urine, sorry, um, and he said no, there was no urine at yeah. all. <laughs> No, I, I, I know it was only the tip so of his. I know, I know it was only the tip, Sean B. Um, it was on the. It was the tip of James' middle finger, not actually his whole middle finger that was cut off. But that is still really bad. He got an RSA from that, which is almost died from. You're very mm. right, Sean B. I, I know that. I don't know if I said it wrong. I'm sorry if I did. Yeah. Um, but, well, I mean, yeah. We we all know it was the tip of the finger, like, but. Even he himself said, I lost a finger. <laughs> yeah. And like, it's just a, click finger off. We know the details. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then on Tuesday, which was day nine, we started off with Tara Roberts, who was the island manager. Um, and she was she obviously um, gave her recollection of the um, time when she seen Depp with him. Um, all the redness around his nose um, and she also told him what he said to her that he'd had something through it hey Laura as well um, and, she, and she said that um, she helped him in the cafe she put ice on it and then she helped him lie down on the couch and everything um, mm -hmm. that night she you know she gave him first aid basically yeah, just cleaned it up and, and iced it up so it wouldn't swell. But yeah, that was the whole uh, mineral spirits can being thrown in his face incident that he talked about on the audio. Exactly. Um, and she also there was all she was also questioned about Johnny Depp passing out in the sand, which she said no, he just um, fell asleep on a hammock. And the hammock had overturned. Um, yeah. Because Amber has seen keep nitpicking at like little details, like, oh, so Johnny Depp passed out on the beach when his son was there. His son was upset, weren't he, that he passed out? <laughs> it's all that. speculation. I don't know if his son was upset. He just let me know. Yeah. We've got Megan Jackson here. 
as well here in my game. Um, Eco said, that just really upset me. Imagine on in the island and everything on it and not being able to sleep in your own bed. I know having to go and sleep right. on, 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 like, he couldn't even just sleep on the sofa in his own house. He had to go and sleep on the sofa in the cafe. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he owns it all, but still. Hey, Susan, as well. And Issa, hey, Issa. In the cafe. Hi, Issa. Hello. Oh, I love his name. She says, hey, everyone. It took me forever to find your channel. I've seen you a few times on Rob's, but forgot your channel name. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I'm glad to have you. Well, you're Sorry. here. That's what matters. You found us. Yeah. Sounds like what? <laughs> what did you say? That's what it sounds like thunder. Like a pump again. That, that wasn't me. That was outside. <laughs> and nobody said it was <laughs> <laughs> You're just digging yourself a little hole here. Um, so, like I said, then we had <laughs> we had Tara, um, and then we had. Oh, and she also said she's seen no injuries on her on the island because she said she had injuries if you remember um, and she had that photo shoot um, and she yeah. was like she was asking her all the questions like did you see makeup on amber and all that and could you tell whether she was wearing makeup was she wearing concealer or was she wearing amica cream yeah amica sunblock, sunblock. <laughs> what sunblock was provided for her in the bedroom or uh, there's all kinds, man. It's ridiculous. Um, um, Megan says, I love your accent. Thank you, Megan. But oh, yeah, she might be in about yours. She might be in about nah. <laughs> Not mine. It's definitely yours, little missus. <laughs> but what was the type of makeup? But we don't even know what this type of makeup is because apparently it's this Milani cosmetic bleeding palette. But that yeah. didn't even exist. Did she get in the bloody um, time traveling fridge or something? Yeah, it didn't. They didn't go on the market. Didn't come out till twenty seventeen. Exactly. It didn't. <laughs> and then she said, "This was what she had on her the whole time, and what she used to conceal." Oh my god! And you know, I don't know if you want to do it, my love, but um, the picture where you actually tried to conceal yours. But you can still see it. You should have used that amica. <laughs> um, some of you guys may have seen in um, today that I'll put, I'm going to talk about that video in a bit. But I'll just make yeah. Gary's point quickly. There's a video that I put on today where I've shown, and um, I know that I've shown it a few times on Twitter or Discord or whatever. But it's the first time I've done its own video. Um, of my injuries that I sustained when I went through DV and where I've got a bruised eye, I was hitting the eye. And one of the pictures is from like a week slash two weeks after the incident. And it's on the left eye. And um, I have made, like now I don't wear foundation, but at the time I, I wore foundation, I put concealer on to try and hide it. But you can still see the redness and you can still see the brown over me in the, over the hood of my eye was all brown and all here well the hair there's like a pink mark and that was like a week and a half after the fact and even though i put makeup on you couldn't i couldn't hide it you could still even see some of the swelling on on the eye like a, a little bit um but I'll, i'm gonna there's something that's happened today which is the reason why i put that video out and i'll explain it in a bit like we'll go through this and then i'll explain later on um, so there, there's that and then we had Sharon Curry the doctor I forgot what her title is now I don't know if anyone can put it in the comments hey Amy mm -hmm. by the way um, hey. Amy well, I know we're going back to it but even real pounds obviously you've seen it and it was still obviously swollen so there you and go. Hey, well. yeah. Yeah, right. So we had Sharon Covey who came on and diagnosed, um, she did the psychological review on Amber Heard. Now, some people were questioning why 
um, and the herd had to have a, psycholo um, a psychological, I think that's the term, anyway, psychological review, and why Johnny Depp didn't. Fren there you go, forensic psychologist. Thank you, Isa. Um, and some people are questioning why Amber Heard had to and why Johnny Depp didn't. And the reason is, is because um, part of Amber Heard's defence is her saying that she, had P she has PTSD because of what she went through with Johnny Depp. So that's her bringing her mental health, medical needs into the case, which made it Johnny Depp's right to get... Um, get her reviewed now johnny depp hasn't brought up that he has ptsd or anything for amber heard and amber heard tried to get a, um, a psych um, review of johnny depp but she got denied by the court because johnny depp didn't bring that up um yeah. so that's why she's had to do it and johnny depp hasn't and obviously we know she got diagnosed with borderline personality disorder and histrionic, I think I'm pronouncing that right, histrionic personality disorder. And this explains a lot. And there's been a lot of people in, I hope I keep her away. there's been a lot of people saying things like, um, I'll get to this in a second. There's been a lot of people saying, um, feeling sorry for Amber Heard, like, oh, it explains it all, this, that, and the other. No, it does not. The thing is, Amber Heard, she has, has the mental capacity to make her own choices. Now, she may have um, a mental illness that draws her to making them choices, but she still has the ability to know right from wrong and what's okay and what's not okay. Um, so, do you know what I mean? Like, she, this girl was planting evidence and taking photos and, and doing mad things like painting bruises on her face for, for a few years. Do you know what I mean? So, like, this this thing where people are trying to... <coughs> Uh, I get it. It's just an unfair people like. Sorry. I, I feel bad for her that she's got mental health, and I feel like that now she's been diagnosed. Hopefully, the girl can get some help. But it does not excuse. It doesn't excuse what she's done to Johnny Depp. It doesn't um, push that to one side at all. This just shows that she has um, mental illnesses that she needs help with. Hopefully, the girl get help. Gets help. So thank you, Parade Peace, for your super sticker. Let me see what it is, because we don't know yet. It's a uh, blowing kisses. It's a blowing kisses. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> green hair. Oh, there it is. Blowing kisses, so cute. You can't even see it on my phone. <laughs> I got the <coughs> YouTube pulled up. As well. Excuse me. I don't know why I'm choking. Um, so, Sharon Corey, I feel like that she was a great, great witness to come in. Hello to Roger Smith. Miss Corey was awesome. So, two was Mr. Connolly. Yes, yeah, so we're going to get to Mr. Connolly when we get to day 11 in a minute. Um, but he, I agree with you. But the thing with Dr. Sharon Corey, what I loved about her is the way that she broke everything down for us. One second, guys. Okay, so like I was saying, I love the fact that she was breaking it all down, saying it in like layman's terms, um, so that the jury could understand her clearly, so we could understand her clearly, and we knew exactly what she was talking about, even though it's a lot. There's a lot more into it than how you know, how she was able to explain in that amount of time, but we got the picture of what her diagnosis was for and how she came to that conclusion. Mm -hmm. exactly. <coughs> okay. So too was Mr. Connolly, indeed. And I like your name, Roger Smooneth. Hey, Zach. <laughs> hey, Zach. Zachary. <laughs> and, and obviously the best like the, the most iconic part the most memeable part of Sharon Curry's deposition was when um, Elaine was questioning her about muffins <laughs> you can just Amber, oh, you can imagine so Amber on the other side you can imagine Amber on the other side like she told him that 
I was um, that she was going to do a review on me, and he brought he was excited and brought muffins to come and see me. You can just imagine her making it about her to her lawyers, like she went against yeah. um, the confidentiality and this, that, and the other, and. <laughs> You're better at doing your own for her. He brought me muffins. He brought me muffins. He knew I was there. So they made such a big deal about muffins. But the, the, the bit that I love was um when she said, um, the, the doctor anyway, she was like, can we, can I answer this so we can stop talking about muffins? <laughs> or something like that. I forgot what she said. I know. Can I just address the muffins so we can move past them? Or something like exactly. That. She, just put a foot, she put a foot down and she was just yeah. bang on. And I think Amber lawyers and Amber's lawyers were like thrown back a bit. Like, they, they, yeah. I don't think they realized how <laughs> hard it was going to be to cross examine her. Um, yeah. But Can you imagine what, if they were that? like, so what if they were like, oh, so you didn't like the muffins? Was there a problem with from the, the muffins? muffin man? <laughs> Are you talking about my muffin top every time I sit down? <laughs> what time did you visit Drew Lilane or whatever it's called? <laughs> <laughs> um, so we had Sharon Curry, great, great witness, great for her to come in. And she also said that Amber does not have PTSD because Amber ticked it like Chula, every single box on that PT hey Gillette as well. And she ticked every single box on that in PTSD form to um, <laughs> to try and prove that she had PTSD. Uh, yeah, look I've got all this I've got all these symptoms. Like I didn't yeah, so there was like, surprised to me. <laughs> there was like twenty of them, right? Or twenty something and she checked nineteen of them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's a a tad bit overboard, I think. Like, but I can imagine one of the symptoms being in cat sleep and the one being sleep all the time, and she ticked both of them. Yeah, I'm half asleep asleep all the time. <laughs> like I'm, I'm a hundred percent right sixty percent of the time, or I'm sixty percent right a hundred percent of the time. Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> But she, you can imagine the way she did it, though. It was just so weird. Um, yeah. I, oh. I wonder who she, I wonder who she's going to copy and dress style this week. Hello, she's so pathetic. I can imagine her <laughs> trying to come in in in, in a bloody um, in in a thing like the George. I forgot the name of it. So uh, words just vanish out of my mind sometimes. <laughs> She'll come dressed as the judge. Maybe now. so. Yeah. She'll come dressed as a judge. Or maybe she'll come dressed as a... What's her name? Angry cat lady? Her lawyer? Elaine. Elaine. <laughs> or maybe she'll have a proper ponytail this time. Just like Johnny said. Just pulled back in a ponytail and it snipped at the end. I know. It's so weird. Can I... <laughs> Can I clarify about the muffins so we can move past them? Exactly, that's what that's she it. said. Yeah. <laughs> it was so weird. And then at the, the end of day nine, we had the first set of police officers in, who confirmed that they saw no injuries on Amber, apart from they said that they seen redness on her face, which is the same redness that you'd get with crying. But they see nothing that would indicate an injury, and they see no damage to the properties at all. Mm. Hey, Megan. You know what? what? The um, what were you on about the uh, the police officers now? Just the... the first set of police oh. officers. The yeah. young guy, like, do you remember the young guy giving in the leader? Yeah, them. and they were all. The name. They were every single one of them. Even the second set were very consistent mm -hmm. with yeah. what they said, you know. And then the first two was just like the, her redness was, you know, consistent with um, just crying. 
and somebody crying. But you can be crying about anything. That doesn't mean that. You're yeah, crying because you don't die, he said. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but the video, the um, the the body cam footage. Well, that's next I think day. that was the most. We'll oh, get to that. In all a right, go on then. Go by your list. So, what? Okay. Sorry, I, you know what I'm like in the list. Let, let me know when. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is funny as well. As, but why didn't you take proof of no da abuse or damage? Like, imagine if police went round taking pictures of there being no crime. Like, they were literally taking photos all the time. Um, and the bit that got yeah. me as well is they said to her, they said to the, the female officer, so why didn't you give Amber Heard a leaflet about domestic abuse? Isn't that something that you usually do to victims? And she said, I see no, um, no um, indication that she was a victim of abuse. Mm -hmm. It was like, boom, yeah. straight away, like, there you go. She didn't give her the leaflet because she seen no crime that had happened. And, exactly. having an and, and, and having an argument isn't a crime. Like, yeah. have, having a verbal dispute isn't a crime. But me and you have verbal disputes. What? What are you talking about? No, we don't. No, again. We do, but we don't shout when we have a dispute. Why are you lying for? We do. <laughs> it's, it's normal in relationships. <coughs> yeah. Sometimes it's a great, and that's not a oh, crime. God. And that's not domestic abuse. I'm telling you now, it's not. Well, I tell you what, love. If it was against the law for you to have a dispute with me, you'd you'd be in jail by now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, kidding. Yeah. I kid. <laughs> oh, no, but um, yeah. When um, oh god, I forgot what I was gonna say now. Oh, about the old taking pictures thing. So why didn't you take any pictures of any non-injuries? Like you said. I mean, first of all, you know, I'm, I'm being lighthearted about this, but um, it would it would be creepy. Number one, the cops just going around. Are you injured? No, smile. <laughs> just want to make sure. <laughs> and it's an obvious race, waste of resources. You know, so they only do what they have to do when they need to do it. Exactly. Issa says it feels like watching a reality show. So she had to rewind the objection video at least three times. <laughs> yes. um, Amy's comment here as well. Do you guys think she'll have a breakdown in the stand? Absolutely. She's going to try. Like, if we remember her dep um, a deposition, a last deposition that was recorded, and she was like, it, it hit me and it did this and like, like girl cringe cringe and she's How already trying to do it that's what she How did she's like this whole, I, I don't know if the kind of it's this side or this side and it's like really and the, the thing is though she's already doing that now like she keeps wiping away fake tears and then she keeps looking mm -hmm. dead set in the camera mm -hmm. like this <laughs> like, like proper dead on like why are you saying into me That's soul pretty, with, your, with your evil eyes? That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, and then the bit where she was talking to uh, Elaine and then smiling and laughing for a second, and then instantly. <laughs> she does. <laughs> and one part we need to make a of is now, um, now with Nick Wallace has turned out to be a con that stopped following him. And Nick Wallace is um is supposed to be not biased and he's become very biased in a minute. Um Sean B says that Kia talks if Amber loses her shit on the stand, I think that will show her to be mentally ill, right? Or am I wrong? Um yeah, what do you question. what do you mean? Well, well she's already been diagnosed as being mentally ill. She's yeah. already she's already she's already been diagnosed with that. Um the only things that she can do at this point, I feel, is for her to try and blame it on her mental health, which is totally wrong. Right. And that's probably the only thing that they can lean against. I mean, we have to remember that this is a defamation case. So whether Don't you know, yeah. she can claim insanity or not, she still did it. 
Yeah, and criminal obviously, case. with the emails and everything, she was very coherent, and they were, you know, communicating back and forth, and it was obviously about JD, and they just kept trying to. They're going back and forth on how to cover it up and edit it and this and that. So, her and ACLU were in cahoots about that whole op-ed the whole time, and it was proven last week. Yeah, you know, it was in writing, black and white. It's in the transcripts. Yeah, exactly. Um, the, right, we're on the next scene now where we have the second um, set of officers. You have the body cam footage. And I think it's it's so funny. Oh, that now Elaine, I can talk about that. Yeah. yeah, Elaine kept going, can, can you rewind it? Can you replay it? And she kept replaying the body cam footage. And all that did was like just give us that extra, like like and the, give the joy the extra chance to be like, well, everything looks fine. Like I don't understand the point here. Mm -hmm. yeah, go on. What was she gonna say? Oh, nothing. Just basically what you're saying. But I mean, imagine if you're part of the jury, like basically, which would be us, even if you know we didn't know the case the way we've been covering it for so long now i mean they said they were talking about the the wine spillage and the splashing on the wall and stuff like that but the body cam footage shows nothing and the body shows. cam footage yeah and when they went inside you saw the little thing where the lamp was on and the rug where the broken wine glass was and nothing the candelabras still up where they were, the little fruit basket up on the counter where it was, everything just fine, everything in its place mm -hmm. whilst they were there. And then what is their defense? They try to say, oh, well, we cleaned up before the second set of officers came. The first set of officers would have seen it. And you can't just pour amica cream on a rug to clean up wine stains. I'm sorry. <laughs> And not only that, but they've shown like um, a nice, quiet atmosphere within that penthouse as well. Not somebody like I remember when I went through um, what I went through, and I was just crying all day, yeah. like, and all all night. And I just had my mum and my auntie were around me, but you know, my auntie was at my mum's that day. Um, she's very old fashioned in, in the sense and like very um she's not highly emotional and she's not one of them who will molly modicolly or molly cuddle you or whatever the saying is. She wouldn't just come and give you cuddles and all that all the time. And yeah. that day she's been through DD as well. And that day and I was just sat at the table my eye and um she just came over and I was just crying, started crying. She just came over and put her arms around me. And she just gave me like the biggest hug ever that I've ever had of her. She said, it's all going to be all right. You, you're going to get through this. You're strong, you know, in the air. This ain't going to break you. Uh, I'm getting emotional now. But she did, and it's the only time that she's ever gave me a hug and shown me love like that. And mm. that and of mine. And that was the time. Um but in in that in that apartment you just seeing these people just chilling just like they're having a night in yeah exactly oh everything's fine no worries yeah oh he's gone left a few hours ago it's all good the other officers came they checked everything out let us left the set um see when they told the second set of officers that the first set of officers did nothing but leave a, a, a business card that should tell the second set already that all right everything's fine but they responded because it was a second call so something could have happened say. in the interim you know mm -hmm. so they could be responding to something else that he may have come back you know so they have to respond that's why they did so but i'm curious to know about the 911 calls because they said it was two that came from new york but the one Previously, that, they said that it was one from New York and one that came from LA. 
Okay, because then, you know, in court, they're saying there was two that came from New York. So I, I'm, I'm curious to, to see if they have the actual, um, the audio they should of the 911 call where it sounds like Rocky. I'm not Rocky. Raquel. Yeah, Rocky. Yeah, Rocky. But, um, she says, my neighbor upstairs. So that, how could yeah, that she says, I'm downstairs. Yeah, exactly. So how could that be for New York? Yeah, and then she's she's making that phone call just like she's you know ordering a slice of pizza or something like, yeah, this that man woman just come. That's all I can say. <laughs> and even right? um, you know what's his name? Uh, incredibly average did the side by side of her saying the same words, and it was obviously the same voice. So I'm curious to see how that plays out. Yeah, me too. Yeah, you can definitely tell that is Rocky on that one phone call that we have, but Brian put up. And Brian <laughs> even did a whole thing with it as well, comparing the voices. Yeah, that's what I just said. Love. <laughs> he did a side by side. Yeah, there you go. Sorry, you know that tune out. <laughs> um, I know. You always tune me out. Right, go on, read this comment. No. My guy, some eco spice. My guy found some memes this week. One with a picture of JD and AH with the text Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. I love it. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, we need to find that one and I want to use it as my um my avatar. <laughs> Um, okay, let me add that. Don't forget you guys. Uh, we're going to get to that as well, Tina. <laughs> um, in the... No worries, baby. But... We, we have an agenda. She's written it down. We'll get to it. <laughs> I have a oh, list. No. She gave me the eyebrow. Watch out, guys. I'm in okay. trouble. When I get this. I mean, I can't do that on demand. <laughs> right, the next the next witness was um I can't pronounce his name, the guy who worked in East, um, East Columbia building. What Hernandez? Um, Hernandez. Yeah. What was his name? Yeah, Spanish guy. He goes by um something else. I forgot what he said. The one who was vaping in his car, Romero. and then decided to drive off. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so he gangster. I know it was, um, but he again stated that he seen no injuries on Amber Heard, and Elaine was just like, "Do you know what foundation Amber Heard uses? <laughs> Do you know what concealer? No. Do you know what brand of concealer that she uses, or what shade she uses? No. Wait. Right, I'll be him. You ask the questions. I'll be him. How many times did he say no? There's a drinking game. Do you game. know what? We'll be do pissed. you know what sun cream she uses? No. Do you know what dress she was wearing that day? No. Do you know whether she was wearing any bangles or rings? Mm. No. It was constantly that, though, wasn't it? Like. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> it was like, do you remember? She, I can't even remember what breakfast I got this morning. <laughs> <laughs> it was very <laughs> but yeah, he, I mean, he made such a good point too because he was he going really on to. Oh, I'm sorry, this he was so relaxed when he just it. stated it. What makeup doesn't cover the swelling. Mm hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's, he said that too. He's like, if I saw any swelling, I would notice that. You know, because he made the point to say that when he talks to people, he looks them in the eye. You know, he, and he would notice if um, if something was amiss, like on the face. But he was more focused on Rocky that day, talking about her dog got out of the unit. 
and that was a funny story too. But yeah, because he was like, I don't know if uh, your eyebrows are you know messed up, if your eyelashes, whatever this and that. I don't pay attention to that stuff. He's, I'm not looking for something, you know. I'm just looking at someone in their face and having a conversation with them, looking them in the eyes. I'm not looking for something to be wrong, you know. He's not basically. He's not a fault finder. Yeah, and <laughs> but it was right in what it, it was funny what you were saying that that story where there was and Johnny Depp lost it at that point when he was going on about how they were scared to go in the apartment because he was mm -hmm. scratches four inches on the door. Four inches on yeah. the like you, you think a full of four inch humans <laughs> going to break it. <laughs> like, Are you serious? I mean, at least my job, okay? I go up there and I do it, but, you know, seriously, you got scratches on the door like four inches above the ground? It was the dog. The dog was trying to get back into the unit. We use somebody. So I check the rooms. I do it. It's my job. But I can't believe they made me do this. You know? <laughs> I love that guy. He's so cool. He's funny. Mm. <laughs> and he, but he did say he didn't see any damage, which is, again, pushing Amber's mm, lines nothing. out the boat there. And then we had Christian Carino. Oh, yeah, the guy with the thousand mirrors. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Megan. Oh, thanks, you, Megan. Oh, let's see what it is. <laughs> uh, Mic drop. <laughs> That's awesome. Let me see. I can't see on my and mic drop. There it is. There it is. Love it. So cool. Thank you, Megan. Yeah, thank you, love. Um, but what, you, what I was going to say, Christine Carino, what did you say a ago about him? What now? About oh. Christine Carino. You said the guy with a thousand mirrors. Yeah. In the first deposition, when he had the hat on. It's like his house was like full of mirrors behind him. <laughs> the guy wants to make sure he looks okay in all angles. And well, he was like, "What <laughs> is this something that you read in there?" He's like, "Yeah, well, I wrote stuff down, so I don't forget." Oh yeah. And you see here, you can see <laughs> what that he had something that he was referencing through the mirror. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, but he he. He confirmed that um, Johnny Depp lost Pirates of the Caribbean because of the op-ed, and it went long after the op-ed that, um, that Pirates of the Caribbean came forward and said that, you know, they're not going to work with him. Yeah. Um, and he also um, talked about how um, the, uh, the, the, he was like the middleman for the arrangements when... Amber had this TRO on him and she was scared of him. Um, but she wanted to go meet him. Like, mm -hmm. No, it's not something that you want or that you do when yeah. you've been in that situation. No, actually, absolutely. And I mean, he was absolutely non biased, this guy, and he proved it because he admitted that he was working with Amber first then met Johnny, and then Johnny asked him to represent him. So he was representing both of them at one point in time, and they became friends. And, um, you know, uh, after a while, they split ways, and they stopped being friends, both sides. But he would often facilitate things for them. Well, he facilitated that, that, that meeting during the TRO um, for Amber. Because she's the one that reached out to him and said, I want to meet Johnny, I want to talk to him. And it it got to a point where they were trying to meet at certain places, but it was too public. So he ended up getting a hotel for them to meet up at. And, uh, and um, by the time we got to that point, long story short, there was arguments happening. But... Because um, he met up at an house or something at first, didn't they? Yeah, it was at a house at first. 
Mm -hmm. But the guy came back and wanted his house back. Um, yeah, that's it. But he was a very good witness in the sense, because like Johnny Depp never physically said when he gave his um, when he gave his deposition, no his deposition, his in testimony. He never actually came out and said that I lost parts of Caribbean because of Amber Heard. He never actually came out and said them them words. So mm -hmm. it's good, even though it's indicated and we all know why. Do you know what I mean? It's good that this witness um, came out and said Johnny lost parts of Caribbean because of the op-ed. It was after that yeah. op-ed. You said it for him. Yeah. yeah. He said he and he's not he a friend, so there's no bias there. He's not getting paid by Johnny Depp, so there's no, you know, like, there's just no bias. So he's just basically saying what he knows, and he's an agent in that industry for you know, decades now. So he knows how it works. And when he said it was just, you know, it was just known. You know, that he was going to lose his role because of that. Because there's there's certain things in the industry that you just know, you just, you get. And okay, um, I think even, what? Are you, are you okay, Pickle? Pickle? <laughs> what? Why am I pickled now? I'm trying to, I'm trying to tell a story here. See how she cuts me off, folks? Right in mid thought. Just because I don't get it out really fast, I always take my time. <laughs> Look at this comment. <laughs> I know, I don't understand it. I tell you, what you mean? I know what you mean. The dip didn't dip his pickle in there. <laughs> I don't know. You're going to have to explain that one to me. But anyway, I think there's something else what was I, try I was trying to finish the. Um, you know what? It's gone. I don't even remember what I was saying anymore. <laughs> Think of something else that starts with a P. You know. I can think of plenty of things that start with a P. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> and now he Eko, goes pulling a um a cherry just because I don't get it out really fast. A pee pee. You see that? Yeah, I know what a pee pee is. Like, well, that's what he means when she says a pickle. I don't know. I don't understand where this joke came about because I was on a rant about something trying to make a point and it's gone now. <laughs> I can't remember. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, obviously. Go on. Go on with your list. Let's go. It tickled me. All right, so now we're on to um, day 11. What's next on which, the list? Which is Thursday. Are we going to be and able to talk about it? And the majority of it was, yeah, we can talk about it, was the ACLU representative, Tony Starrer, I'll be pleased with me. And, and the, this guy, when he first got on the, on the video, he was all like him, fresh as a daisy, and ready for this deposition, all like upbeat and everything by the end of it he, he was sweating he took off his his blazer and because he knew that he fucked up in everything that he said oh, i didn't even see that you're not seeing it that's fine no i can't watch it while i'm working i'm just listening to it all right um so he kept wiping his forehead and everything because he was sweating um, really <laughs> yeah. He kept, he kept wiping his forehead off there, and um, but the 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 thing that he can mainly confirmed was that there was these conversations about the op-ed and the bits where the ACLU dodgy sods were helping Amber edit this op-ed where Amber wanted to have Johnny Depp's name in the op-ed and they edited it out, and um, but they still wanted it to be related to Johnny Depp. Like they could have just had Amber Heard being an ambassador for women, winning, but it was the fact that she turned around and said, two years ago, I became, um, I, I experienced 
domestic violence or I can't I'm, I can't remember her exact words that she said now because my mind's like a sieve sometimes and but that two years ago is the big implication of Johnny Depp and it implies Johnny Depp's name straight away and um sorry brain that <laughs> <laughs> so are you <laughs> are you in a mood with me? No, I'm just letting you go. <laughs> I don't want to interrupt. Oh, I'm <laughs> in the bad books. Um, but with the ACLU, they confirmed that this op-ed was about Johnny Depp, and this is got they confirmed that the Amber did this defamation, and it basically proves it to the jury there and then straight away and there was mm -hmm. sirens playing as well in the background that was funny that yeah <laughs> they're coming to get you coming to mm -hmm. get the muffin man <laughs> who brought these muffins to this meeting but yeah you... if you if you go on I was just go go on. It's all right. You thought you were just about to. No, it's so if you saw the 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 original drafts, like the previous ones, she actually because the whole reason for these um, lawyers getting involved with ACLU, uh, they were trying to to skirt around the NDA, you know, the non disclosure agreement so that she wouldn't potentially get sued. Uh, that's basically what they were doing, trying to help her out. And I mean, it's obvious through the communications back and forth. And then in the original draft, she's talking about, um, I was told not to talk about my marriage or yada, yada, something along those lines. And so even right there, she's talking about it. <laughs> so mm -hmm. it's, like, you know, it, it's obviously about JD. And even I, I've seen the, the NDA and what it says, and it's very specific as far as you can't talk about anything about the uh, premarital stuff, marriage, the dissolution on any kinds of media. Or whatsoever and you can't even talk to your family and friends about that and have them say anything about it it's very specific and very like you know you're not talking about this at all no matter what and she did it you know i mean she's just constantly she she feels like she's above the law like you know she's she's violating the the, the restraining order by setting up the secret meeting one and she's violating the the non-disclosure agreement by doing this op-ed and there wasn't even an article that came out or not i don't know if it was an article no it's not an article it was like an email or something like that just communications back and forth between people with the aclu and it was something like um so much for it not being about johnny you know yeah and it was just kind of being a little, a little cheeky about it hmm that was the email between the ACLU and the lawyers and all that. So, um, because that yeah. was after the fact the op-ed came out and people related it straight to Johnny Depp. And that's why they said so yeah, much. Of it. Yeah. Um, and the, the other thing as well is uh, what Kim was saying here, I think Elon, ACLU, clearly to take JD down. And like this is the first time we've had it confirmed about it obviously we are knew, but this was the first time we proper properly had it confirmed that elon made that big don't 500k donation as well yeah elon was just a big dunce just a big dummy who was smitten with her kitten and just mm -hmm. would you know he's got money all over the place he's like whatever you need I, you know i got you i'll pay for it you know, which is why he was so willing to give her 24 hour security service paid for. So he, he was just a wallet. He had nothing to do. I don't think he had anything to do with trying to take JD down. 
you know, he, he was just the, the paycheck. And so. Yeah, that's all she saw with him, money signs. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> I heard this. I'm sorry for the cough. There's a saying, right? It's <laughs> it's kind of funny. Like, they're saying that she's, um, you know, she likes girls and guys. But everybody's yeah, saying that she, she really just likes girls and just sees guys, you know, as something to, you know, use as a wallet. So they're trying to say she's bisexual, but in reality, it's like you buy, I'll get sexual. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye, financial. financial. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. Yes, for now. And and finally, day, so you write in text that the piece is about JD from pitching it to the newspaper. That was just a nail in the coffee. Exactly. Mm -hmm. but it got confirmed then and then. I mean, like, hopefully yeah. the jury um, were really listening to that testimony because normally they can be long winded yeah. and a bit boring, can't they? Absolutely. And, you know, this is a defamation case, right? So there you go. That's, I mean, to me, case closed. But again, we have to hear what they're going to try to pull out on their side, you know, when Amber takes a stand and. We'll just see what they try to do and if, if if the jury buys it or not. It's yeah. There's still so many ways that it can go. But at the end of the day, it's a defamation case, and that's what they need to pay attention to. Not how many drugs he used. I mean, I mean he's come clean about it. Like he even admitted time and time again that you know, he was addicted at a very young age. He started at a very young age. And, you know, some people say that, oh, John, he's a good actor. He's just acting when he's on the stand. Those little pauses that he makes and stuff like that. That's just that's just pure being a thespian. You know, and thespian is not one of the letter people. It means an actor. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, like even if you look at interviews, and I can't remember who was saying this and made this point. It, it might have been... Um, What's her name? She's another lawyer. But she made a good point that, you know, they looked up uh, old interviews with Johnny back in the day, in the 90s even, and he was still exactly the same way. He would give interviews the same way. He would have those pauses. He would be honest about things that, you know, he would go through. And, um, yeah, he was just Johnny the whole time. And there was one question that somebody had asked them, and they were like, uh, well, what kind of drunk are you? And he said, constant. <laughs> so he's always, you know, he knows how to, he's not so afraid of making fun of himself and laughing at himself. He's got nothing to hide. You know? I think I watched the anyway. same video as you, and they said, you know, um, Johnny Depp has always been this person who, stutters and stammers and talks slow everyone has a baseline and that's his baseline in the way he talks um, and right. he, can, he always talks like that in interviews going back to the, the um 21 jump street um all yeah. the way back then he's always had that same baseline the same kind of stammer the way he he has a bit of a joke and charms you as well that's just him and his, his personality in and it was in, I think it's the body language person that you you ran about because um, they was also talking about Amber the and the way that she keeps writing things down is um what therapists tell people to do when they want to hide their facial reactions. In in the in the video where they was talking about Johnny Depp, they was also saying that's why Amber keeps writing everything down, um, mm. and it's so that she can disguise her reactions and she can disguise how she's truly feeling. I don't know if you've seen mm. she's been like writing like a mad woman and constantly writing. Um, and yeah. I can't remember who, what video it was, but just by what you were saying, I'm pretty sure it's the same one that we've both watched there. It's very, it's, it's similar, but um, 
that that point that was made uh, i did see body leg it was behavior panel that i saw the other day but they were talking about johnny's testimony and how and they're professional you know people as far as um, body language so everything that they saw they they were across the board i feel like he's telling the truth you know on his testimony but yeah no um i saw it on what's that one um she's in australia she's a lawyer she was in the military and her and her boyfriend have a podcast together it was a podcast that they did together doing a, a wrap up of the week um yeah but they were talking about that they they saw like old interviews with johnny and and how he's still the same okay it might not be the same video but it sounds pretty much the same what they were saying as well yeah um but yeah with the the writing that's why amber's doing that apparently um and they said that she's probably just writing random stuff and doodles and stuff and just to keep her hand busy oh hey, don't, don't get it so. twisted she is scheming hi ah, zod's in the house what's up zod Kirsty sent me ages, man. Sugar mama. Kirsty sent me a screenshot. Um, I have to be careful what I say because YouTube uh, sad sometimes. But the screenshot says, I'm just gonna have to kind of send some more words here. But it says I can confirm that the e store. We already know this anyway, but I'll just read it out. I can confirm that the e store, Elon store slash Amber, absolutely has video evidence of a um s party that involved somebody who wasn't old enough um, mm. and that was told to me by a few people but also ones who are involved in the trial and that was by somebody called christina P pickles or pickles is um it know. also involves people who are involved in the trial yeah Holy cow. This was told to me by a few people, but it was told to me by a few people, but also ones who are involved in the trial. Oh, okay. Dang. <laughs> I wonder if that'll show up in court. It was the rendition hey, of Sam. Justin. <laughs> might not be from Krypton, but he said it's above the rest. Dun, 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 dun. I forget the words. I'm sorry. Just kneel before Zod. Kneel before Zod. Oh, yeah. You guys, come on. I'm pretty sure everybody here <laughs> is subscribed to Zod. And if you're not, you need to. He's amazing. He deserves it. He is. He's awesome. He's one of our very great friends, man. And yeah, we love you, Zod. Sam says brilliant anyway. <laughs> and then we ha we had Ed White. Sorry, go on. No, no, go ahead. I was just chuckling. Sorry. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say but. And but then we had Ed White, who was Johnny Depp's accountant for years. Um, but. And it, and again another great witness. Um, and the like the biggest thing that he was saying was that. Got everyone was the fact that Johnny Depp had a lot of um, debt regarding wine, like that he had to pay off um, over a hundred thousand dollars that he accumulated yeah. whilst he was married to Amber Heard, uh, and now Johnny Depp literally is spending money on wine is literally in zero. Um, yeah, apart from when he's buying gifts and stuff, it's like yeah, Ed was the cutest. I think we've all adopted mm -hmm. him as our granddad. I don't want to miss my <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he was super cute. Was... Um, he, he was all like, that was, because the thing is, they keep going about, on about how oh, Johnny Depp is drunk and he's admitted that he does drink. I don't know if he's still drinking now, but that he, he did drink all the time. And um, the thing is, Amber Heard's never yeah. coming up about how she is 
is a drunk she still is like we we've seen multiple evidence of that well she posts on her own social media a picture of her lay down on the floor in with a wine bottle in a in in a, in a, in a, in a wastebasket in a rubbish mm-hmm. bin behind her in pictures of her where she's going in wine shops getting crates of wine pictures of her with wine bottles all down the street empty wine bottles mm-hmm. like yeah you, you know you're, you're just projecting at this point yeah, and then the one with the fun hat, you know how they have the two cups on the side of the ha- the hat and it's got a straw coming down filled with yeah. red wine. Mhm. Nearly 40 million he had to pay in debts that occurred with her and then when the, the relationship was over his consi- right. cost a considerably less almost zero in wine bill. Yeah, he paid off Amber's debts as well when he ended the relationship it's like all together including the settlement he said it came to like nearly enough 20 million dollars in there i'm pretty yeah, sure she wanted it she, she wanted it tax free <laughs> yeah what she thinks she's that she, much above the law and she and she's remember that thing when she was saying that she's a law-abiding citizen yeah all right I can't remember what that was for now, but I remember when she, um, oh, what was that for? <clears throat> oh, I remember what that was for. That was for when she um, had somebody working with her in that English assistant. Um, I think she was English oh, yeah. in, in America, and she had to write mm-hmm. a letter saying that she was such a, a law-abiding a citizen and this, that, all this other BS. All right. Yeah, she was just there. Uh, visiting, not working for her. <coughs> yeah. Um, then we had Malcolm <coughs> Connolly, security guard. Oh my god, my favorite. Yeah. Go on then, I'll let you have the talk about it. No, go on. You no, say you what go you on. wrote down because then it'll spark my memory. I know there's so many things that he said that I love. I've, I've only written one sentence down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And it's like six words, um, and that was the fact that when he was asked whether um, Johnny Depp um, urinated in the house, and um, <laughs> he said no, he didn't, and he said Did <laughs> he Johnny Depp have, like, have his no, <laughs> it, you know what out, and he said I think I'll remember if I seen Mr Depp's, you know what. Um, and that just made me lose it. Like, I, but even Johnny Depp was laughing into his arms, mm. and it just made that point. I think made the rest <laughs> of his um, testimony kind of forgettable in the sense of like that was the highlight from it. Like, obviously, there is some important things from his testimony, but I mean, like, probably in the jaw of his eyes and stuff. Um, people they don't oh, yeah. remember this stupid question of yeah. Johnny Depp about the Yoni and he's like no he didn't <laughs> no <laughs> I think I'd remember if I no. seen Mr. Depp's 1015 <laughs> <laughs> well no he was he was fantastic even on the cross he was really good you know because um what's his name I think it was Rottenberger that was questioning him at this time. He's like, so, but um, he did get away from you on the steps, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's like, okay, so Johnny was strong enough to get out of your grip to go back inside. And no, I let him go. <laughs> You're Mexican, by the way, again. <laughs> I sound Mexican. He's like, you want Mexican, man, when you see that. I want Mexican. Oh, look, don't take a mick out of my fake accent, okay? You did the Scottish one a minute ago, but just now you went back to Mexican. (laughs) (laughs) All these accents. Mexican to Asian with you. Anyway, let me let me do my best here. (laughs) Go on. Oh God, what did he say? Um. So he was like, so you strong? He was strong enough to to get out of your grip, right? No, <laughs> I let him go. 
Is it, but I'm not going to drag him by it, you know. He's my boss. He's the boss. <laughs> yeah, <jinx. laughs> And then, so it's it's fair to say that it's not easy to get him out of the house. Not easy, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you know, basically, you know, he's he's just um. Oh, he's like, and you saw Amber. Yeah, he's about two, three feet away. <laughs> and you saw her face, yeah. <laughs> Looking right at her. What makeup uh, was she wearing? He's like, so were you so were you able to scan it? I'm scanning everything. And you know, it's his job. You know, he pays attention to everything that's going on around him. He's, he's security for a reason. You know, he's he's been trained and years of of experience in that regard like why else would he be hired uh, but anyway so he's trying to like undermine his 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 job and what he does for a living and, and how he does it but I, I just thought he was brilliant he was a he was a really good um witness he was just hilarious the way he was telling the stories and stuff like that because i can just listen to him talk all day and tell the stories of what's been going on but then again, mm-hmm. everything's hearsay. I mean, and, and you were saying that you was listening to legal bites and you said that somebody was having trouble understanding his accent or something. Oh, they were just, they were like, they didn't understand the accent. So, yeah. And the, the feed that they were using had subtitles, but <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> it wasn't catching anything. So they were getting frustrated and it's just like, all right, guys, if you don't understand it, just, you know, that's why they told him to slow down while he was talking because he was getting decided, you know, and telling the stories and his accent would kick in just like, you you know, Mank will kick in when you get excited. Yeah, my Mank goes mm-hmm. really strong when I'm, when I'm yeah. excited or annoyed or just in the moment. dead strong. Like even when you're yelling at me, I have to be like, what? Not Can you now. yell at me again, love? <laughs> I do not yell at you. <laughs> I know you don't. I'm the same when you get excited. He worked in a prison. He's meant to look at everything. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's the only thing that that uh, Johnny, or um, Johnny A.H.'s team is trying to do is. Okay. They're, they're trying to demean all of the the witnesses on Johnny's side to make them seem incredible. That's all they can go by. That's all they got. All they have is trying to trying to impeach the witnesses, trying to make them seem incredible. Incredible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, well, they did make them seem incredible. Did they? Were. Asking them. <laughs> Uncredible, and, and uh, uh-huh. uh, yeah, and and they're just making it about him, his drug abuse and drinking. It's like, what does this have anything to do with what she's trying to accuse him of? Nothing. They got they got nothing. That bit as well annoyed me a bit where they was trying to. It almost could like what they was accusing him of. It's like they was trying to incriminate him and get his license took away, saying you witnessed Johnny Depp taking in substances, didn't you? And he's like, no, I won't. I, I'm not going to risk my license like that. And Johnny wouldn't risk my license in that way either. And yeah. for them to try and insinuate that could mm-hmm. get his it could get his license took away, and that's not that incriminating yeah. him do you know what I mean exactly like, it's very naughty that mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah no because he even admitted to it though he was like well there were times where he would sneak away to the bathroom and I thought maybe it was something was happening but you know he never did it in front of me he would never do that Gary Gary got worried when he seen that shot that did that in video that I did this morning. Which one? The one where you rang me and went, I was worried that you'd gone crazy. What? 
my video that I did that you oh, watched you got from Toby's. Yeah, I didn't realize that that was a filter you used, and I was like, "What is she doing? Isn't she dyed her hair? She's got her eyelashes all funky, and she's uh -huh. just like ah ranting." I'm like, "Wow, never seen this side of my love before. It's kind of cute." No, I was cracking up though when I saw it. I was, I mean, I knew she was serious. I, <laughs> I know that she was upset, but I couldn't help but chuckle at it because it was just so cute. Okay. Oh, that I, <laughs> I forgot what you said, <laughs> but there was one part where you were like, eh, <laughs> that really got me. <laughs> You're mocking me. Eh. And we've got Jake, Jackie here as well. Oh, I love you too, girl. Yes, you too, great too. to see all of you. They have nothing, exactly. They have nothing, nothing, nothing on RJD. Ah, uh, beautiful vibes. <laughs> Mocking me. You have got a beautiful voice. Um, then we had Stalin Jenkins. He was a show for slash security. Um, oh, he's so cool. Yes, and he was the one who um, went to Coachella with them. And, like, he came out and he dropped a big, massive bomb because he came out and put it out there straight that Amber said to him that um, the, the poop gate was a bad joke gone wrong. And it's like, bam, there we go. Like, mm -hmm. how can she deny it after she saw he said it to him? Do you know what I mean? Like, and he remembers yeah. exactly what, what she said. And at the Coachella, when they were trying to argue that it was Whitney being sick because she was pregnant, um, he said that it was Amber who was sick after drinking alcohol and taking mushrooms and that he had to escort her to her room and make sure she was all right. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's and any he remembers. That... He remembers exactly what he got for her too. The, the Advil or aspirin or whatever it was and the, the, the drink. I can't remember what kind of drink it was. Something fizzy. Um, yeah, just to help her hydrate. And get back to normal, and then then he went back and picked up the other girls and brought them back as well. Yeah, and then they try to ask him if he knew the different, if he could tell Whitney apart from Amber. Oh, and the difference between Amber. Yeah, there you go, right there. Yes, one is boss's yeah. wife, the other is a boss's sister. <laughs> yes, you can tell the difference. We can see the difference. Exactly. Exactly. You can tell the exact difference. And Man. and Elaine was asking the same <coughs> questions again. Do you know what brand of foundation Amber was wearing? Get Do off you the know makeup. What brand of conceal she was wearing. I uh, know. I'd be like, um, Miss Elaine, first of all, I'm a man. And I'm no makeup expert. And why would I know what kind of makeup she uses? I've never once been on a shopping trip with or had I ever had to buy makeup for her. <laughs> so these questions are stupid. Stupid. So stupid. Um, stupid. I can't remember what, what else pointed out to me about Malcolm. Not Malcolm, Stalin Jenkins. Um, about the phone. What was it? Amy found the phone. I thought that was Malcolm. Yeah. Wasn't that Malcolm? That was him. It was him, Mr. Jenkins. Because they're trying to say that you said in your testimony you found the phone uh, below the building, on the street below the building. Do I know what kind of makeup Kaylee uses? Um, yeah, 
a little bit of eyeshadow, eyeliner, and maybe some lipstick. And that's about it. Maybe some things on the eyebrows, but yeah. Fair skin. Mascara. Nice skin. Mascara. Yeah. She has um, some you eyelashes. Know the brown but yeah, it's uh, Amica. Oh my God. Amica I Bull. do know. But oh, she has some eyelashes. But did the eyelashes. Know? What? I said, how oh, did you know I used Amica cream? Because it goes on clear. Yeah, I could smell it. <laughs> did it smell like muffins? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Blueberry. <laughs> oh, look who we've got in the back. But yeah, like I was saying, she has some eyelashes. Hey, Stevie, what's up? <laughs> Steve. Oh man, we love you. You are amazing, and all the coverage you've been doing, amazing. Oh, and yes, oh man, it warms my heart every time I see you play the song before your lives. I, I, I love that. Thank you for that. You know, it's really it's cool to shy. see that. Yeah, the last one you did with um, Legal Bites, that was phenomenal. Yeah. Very Yesterday. good work. Very good work, man. Yeah. Yeah, so keep it up, man. Keep it up. And I know you guys all here follow Stevie. You have to. And if you don't, shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> Go follow. <laughs> but okay, yeah. Steve. Oh, I'm sorry, Stevie. I was I was we were on about, you know, makeup and stuff like that. If I knew what kind of makeup Kaylee uses and stuff like that. And I got to the point where, you know, the, the eyelashes, she does have some. You know, some of the fake ones, but they don't they don't yeah, but they don't really end up on her eyes. They usually end up sticking to the walls because the kids grab them and they just use them as stickers. Yeah, and they make faces on the walls or like you know. caterpillar. <laughs> <laughs> they, they literally did. They did it in my bedroom. Let's take them. Yeah, they did. <laughs> it was like. It looked like, you know, that fight that Kim Kardashian had with her sister and the makeup went on the wall. It looked like I had a fight with somebody with my eyelashes and on the wall. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's so funny. Well, it's just two little spiders. Uh, but yeah, they look like little caterpillars. Oh, Ooh, what did she say? Breaking, breaking news. Just fired a PR team. Oh, shucks. Oh, are you going to do a video about it? Please do. Please do. Uh, well, that I don't even know what to say. I'm just gobsmacked. Well, the thing is, it doesn't surprise <laughs> me because I feel like that she's going to try and use the excuse of like her PR team or something for the reason that... Um, that everybody see her the way that she does because it's always everyone mm. else's fault it's never her. it's never that girl's fault it's always everyone yeah. else's it's definitely always john's fault as we know absolutely no i just feel like anybody who's even you know contemplating working for this woman don't do it because she's just gonna fire you anyway <laughs> either you're gonna go through hell and you may get paid but at a discounted rate um, and know, then eventually I... you're just going to get fired. Yeah. I mean, cause if you, I, I can't remember who did it, but somebody looked up the, the wages for Johnny's legal team and Amber's legal team. <laughs> Johnny's Probably. legal team is getting paid. They're getting compensated way much more than Amber's legal team is. <laughs> yeah. I guess he's and got to pay for them wages if he wins. I know, right? <laughs> I'm doing lots of pay. Well, she's got a, a wallet um i never i don't know if you heard of this wallet it's called uh an elon it's a new type of leather it's an elon wallet that she uses it's got plenty in there elon hello <laughs> elon oh sorry i was so sort of lost there i was thinking you said about some mad like internet banking or something, I was like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
gotcha. Confusion. That's funny. In the brain cells. <laughs> well, yeah. Language barriers. I get it. It doesn't take me much to be confused, though, because my mind goes off in 20 other directions while you're talking to me. And it's not um, you, it's just my, my brain, it's weird. Um, all right, I got I got ADD, you got HD ADD. <laughs> <laughs> okay, show and cover. <laughs> oh, Diagnosing goodness gracious. Um, so, <laughs> let me see. What, so, we've got Star and Jenny Kins. Oh, something else I wanted to mention, guys. Um, Johnny Depp on Instagram is over... 14 and a half million subscribers now. I think he was on like 11 million followers on Instagram when we started the trial. So he's gone up mm -hmm. quite a bit. Like I looked on Social Tracker. Let me just get the right numbers up now. Because it said how many, it said like he was set to get about 4 million followers a month. No, wow. more, Stevie. Thank you for stepping by. Oh, Stevie, um, um, d before you leave, please, if, if you're still there, don't leave just yet. Um, I wanted you to be able to have a moment to um, put your link to your GoFundMe for the, um, the shelter that you're providing for uh, abuse victims, men abuse victims. You know, right, so um, if you can do that, or if anybody has that link, put it up for him and, and support that as much as possible, guys. It's such a great cause. Um, Johnny Depp's got 14.9 million followers now on, on Instagram. When I've written my notes, he had 14.5, so he's got like an, an extra 300,000. Um, and he wrote my notes literally yesterday, I think it was. And he, he, he's got he's following 129 people now. So he is following more people than he was. It says it's four percent rise in the people he's following since last week. Um the average likes per post that he gets is two point two million. Um so I'm not and it says average, here holy that, cow. that today, just today, he got seven hundred and eight thousand followers on Instagram. Seven hundred and eight, like thousand mm -hmm. that is right wow well, like now let's check it let's compare it to amber turdstein let me just have <laughs> right so she's on she's doing a lot she's going up a little bit as well and um, she's on 4.3 million followers which is a two and a half percent rise since last week um she is on average she gets 118,000 likes per post a bit different than two points million likes per post thank you for stepping by steve um and today this, this is how much amber heard right buys her followers yesterday she got 16,000 new followers and today she got 51,000 new followers and you just <laughs> know that her new PR team probably now are buying them followers for her. Yeah. Exactly, man. Her average a day is 11 million, 11 million, 11,000. <laughs> uh, also, Where's real quick, I know Stevie's probably gone now, but don't ever feel awkward sharing stuff that you guys are, you know, trying to do or, or build for yourselves. That's that's what we're all here for, to support each other, you know, help each other grow in all the ventures that we are in together, you know, because we're all about the same things. But, you know, when it comes to uh, getting followers, um, I'm definitely not going to do what Amber's doing. I was just about to get to the petition, Kirsty, and again, it's been a big jump since I wrote these notes. Like when I wrote these notes yesterday, it was just over two point five million signatures on the um, on the signature to um, on the 
on the um, petition to get Amber Heard removed from Aquaman 2. And now it's on 2.9 million. Now, you have to remember that before this trial started, it was on 1.9 million. Like, we'd not hit that 2 million mark yet. Um, so, like, the fact that now there's been a big, massive jump in it because people... Um, a scene that that truth come out and even the mainstream media you can tell there's been a bit of a change of tune there like you still have the biased ones like nick wallace is gone a bit biased and and dan wooten who is now he's barlow's ring cleaner it's <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> I don't know if you've seen the BS he's been putting out. Hey, thanks to Eve Barlow for helping me with all this because he's in and he's yeah. been using her as an informant. Oh gosh. Does he not know she got kicked out of the court? I know. But I go and go keeping very good company there, mate. Go go and write a bloody report on how your informant got kicked out for giving false evidence to the court and tweeting yeah. in court. Exactly. Um, Kay wants to know how I, how our GoFundMe is going. Me and Gabby um, are going to be doing a new one. We've got just about £300 so far saved up from the last GoFundMe. Yeah. Um but we're going to do a new one, which is going to be in in, a, in Gary's um, save. It goes straight to Gary's savings account because now that we're in different countries, it means me sending it to him by PayPal, and PayPal charges you. So it's, it'll be so much easier to, for us to do it in Gary's um, name because it is for mm. him anyway for his visa, and then it can all go to his in, into his savings with what we've already um, got from the, the go from me and what we're going to save up anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's still there. It's still saved. Um, uh, to, to be clear about everything, if you don't see the original one, it's because I asked Kelly to take it down. Um, because since I was able to make it back to the States, I got I, I pretty much got stuck there. That's why... That's the only reason why I agreed to do the GoFundMe um, in the first place is because I was trying to be able to stay there. Um, the, the visa process is not really that hard, but you have to have a substantial amount of savings to to show to them so that you can get a, a work visa sponsored job over there. And that also I have to find. So everything was just like, you know, with me having to pay bills back at the States, my money was just going and going and going. So that's why I had to figure out a way to get back to the States. Luckily, you know, my sister helped me out with that. Um, so, but thank you guys so much for, for all the support and everything like that. And I asked her to take it down because I'm back in the States now. I didn't lose my job, thank God. So I'm back at work and I'm just going to start grinding and saving and grinding and saving. Um, but, uh, you know, if, if you guys want to also still continue to, you know, help us out in that respect, it, that'll just be a, you know, a way for me to get back over there quickly so we can continue doing what we've been doing together and, and finally be together, <laughs> you know, like uh, for good, no more trying to figure out going back and forth. Yeah. But thank you, Carrie, though. Yeah, I was really appreciated. Yeah, well, I, I'm I'm waiting on Gary because, um, what you call it, um, regarding the go for me here, um, you know, it was it was your suggestion when it to get it up there so we can so you can work out exactly how you have that enough savings. But we couldn't we couldn't crowdfund it fast enough at the time. My nana passed away. Uh, yeah, there was a lot going on. Uh, yeah, so I stopped streaming, stopped doing videos, and took a step back for weeks and weeks, because um, I had a lot, a lot going on there. Um, right, let me see yeah. what. Uh, else that was a rough in. month for you, my love. I'm sorry. Also, in um, talking, 
Um, she organised for a lot of the um, people in the Johnny Depp community to write notes in a book to give to Johnny Depp. And um, she, gave, she, she, she entrusted um, Darth News to give that to, to Johnny and he's got it now. Jo and Darth yeah. News um, took the video himself and as the car's coming past, he's got, um, got the window down saying bye to everyone and Darth puts, just puts the book inside the window. Um, so he's got that. He's got that book that was done by Talking now, which is amazing. <laughs> That's so cool. You did it, Darth. Good job, I'm, son. I'm Talking. Yeah. Oh no, it's Talking's. That's Talking's baby right there. But she entrusted Darth to get it to him, and he made it happen. So yeah, great job on you. Did amazing <laughs> job. Um. Also, I don't know if um, I, I know a lot of you follow Talk. Tug did a stream the other night where he said there is possibly another male victim who may come forward. In there was no confirmation of this. I'm just paraphrasing what Tug said. Um, and this is um, one of Amber Heard's ex-boyfriends, where there's a picture of her and him together, where he looks like he's got a swollen nose mm -hmm. as well. And I, I think that's really that. interesting. I. Well, I'll send you the picture in a bit. Um, but it looks really, really interesting. But I don't know if that's going to happen or not. But imagine if it does. We need so, these people to come forward. Was he saying he was going to come out? He said he might do. Okay. Wow. Yeah. I wonder if crazy. Johnny has read all the messages in Tal King's book yet. Will it? I think he, he might have picked it up this weekend. He got it on Thursday, so you never mm -hmm. know. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. He would probably be like, I mean, he's an avid reader. I'm sure he'd be interested in, like, okay, what's this? And then he opens it up. So, hey, you got some in there too? Yeah, I got my <laughs> note in there, and she took a picture of me as well. She got a picture oh, of me see. in there. I didn't um, get to put mine in. That sucks. We did have a chance. No, I did have a chance, but I just, you know, procrastinated and forgot about it. That's my fault. Yeah. Um, also, guys, this week, um, there's been a few people who really, like, got to, triggered me on, on, on TikTok. I'm on TikTok, by the way. You can follow me there if you want. Same name, Keela Talks, but it's just one word together, at Keela Talks. Um, and... There was one woman who came, who did a video, and Come Geek, some even talked about it a bit as well. But she was like, um, this Johnny Depp stuff, have you seen how many men are interested in this case? Um, this is going to be bad for us. This is going to change the precedence of the way things are looked at um, regarding domestic abuse. And all I'm thinking, right, is God, so it bloody should change the way it it's bloody seen like so it should things need to bloody change believe mm. our women like the there is so many abusive women out there abuse doesn't have a gender or an age or a height or a body index or mm -hmm. do you know what i mean like it body doesn't index. you know you know <laughs> body mass index or whatever <laughs> <laughs> no it's I like the way you said it. <laughs> um, it doesn't know. And um, this girl, she's like, um, all these men interested in this case. Yeah, because men have never had a voice before. Men have had, like, dried up doing this. We'll give them men who, men have died from women's mm -hmm. hands before now. There was a famous case in the UK where there was a man where the woman starved him. And in... I think I can't remember if he survived or not, but um, he, he he weighed less than a child, and she'd be in constantly and everything, and like things do need to change in the world. Yeah. They really, really do. They do. Um, and and there was a guy that video that you guys have seen me put out this morning. It doesn't show the audio, but the guy was in. Um, saying people shouldn't use the hashtag justice for Johnny Depp hashtag because 
they've not heard Amber Heard's side of the story yet. And in the UK, Johnny Depp was found guilty of 12 incidents of um, being a wife popper. And he was using them terms like, all oh, these people are like him. Um, crushing on Johnny Depp and it's 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 really strange why people do that about an abuser and I'm like I got me proper annoyed as the people have seen who have seen the video um because we have heard Amber Heard's side we have heard her BS we've heard her going on uh, in her little stories that have changed constantly about how um she was this victim but every single one of her lies can be debunked literally everyone and 99% of Johnny's stories can be backed up with facts or witnesses. Mm -hmm. And audio. And audio. And um, you know that what you got on your ticker at the bottom, that's just a little quote from it. Yeah. yeah. And then when she also said, yes, I did start a physical uh, fight or something like that. And then she said, and you did the right thing. You did the, the admirable honest. thing by running away. You're admirable. But what about time when there's times there's there's no like hitting or anything like that? Is it still admirable just to run away? Like, she's constantly on about him for trying to get away from a hostile situation. I mean, who does I that? Know. Who's afraid of their for their lives? And that audio where where she sounds like Fuzzy Bear quoting Johnny Depp, and Johnny's like, "I can't understand, I can't talk to you when you're talking like Fuzzy Bear," and she said, "I don't know if I can play it now. Do you think I'll be alright?" Waka waka waka. Let me get it up quickly. I've got it here on my phone. Yeah, I don't know. I can't remember that one. No, let me put it up. And yes, scary, absolutely. We all need some tell some love. I'm excited to talk. You want to pass Sorry. Are you ready? What else? What else other things do you want to add? You fucking lying pieces. You're Oh, no, I want to know. I'm kind of waiting. Go get it. Yeah, Wait, you have no other place for you to run in your 15 other houses to go run? Come on, go be a real married man. Go deal with your shit the way that a man does. Go run to the next house. Oh, shit. Every no. man does. Yeah. Go. go run away. I know it's hard to look at yourself. Your fucking ridiculous plan. It's hard. Panic fucking plan. It's hard. It's hard. Screwing everybody else over. You're right, you're right. Yeah, that's what I do. You know, you know <laughs> Everybody oh, yeah, I can't. Mm, oh, can't. <laughs> that that laugh. But at the beginning of it, you um, I don't know if you caught it, um, but Johnny Depp says, I can't talk to you when you're talking like Fuzzy Bear. But the way she's talking in, in that audio is exactly how Isaac was explaining how she was talking on the phone mm -hmm. call, what he put down when he said she was talking in this weird baby voice. But yeah. that laughing then, she sounds like um, like an evil villain, like something you'd hear in a film. Like, like Cruella, a Cruella de Vil or something like that. It is horrible. I mean, or like, like the um, evil Cinderella's sisters when they're all laughing at her, making fun of her and taunting. <laughs> <laughs> You can't go to the bar. <laughs> well, you know why? Like <laughs> okay. The thing is, I mean, the, that you referenced Cinderella because Johnny Depp referenced Cinderella as well, and he said he oh, went from he? being Cinderella to being Quasimodo. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, the fact that he went from being Cinderella, the one that was, you know hidden away and behind closed doors and um, treated a certain way to them being Quasimodo being on the front stage and people staring at him and it just goes to mm -hmm. show like I know we meant it Cinderella Linda in a different way but people don't yeah. know like, um, it has two meanings I think there as well 
Yeah. That's what she was like. She yeah. was like the evil Swiss and evil stepsisters and the evil stepmom all balled into one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Gary's yes, that is Yes, that is disgusting. Oh, I don't. <laughs> No, Laura. I don't sit in bed at night and practice. <laughs> <laughs> you should do your witch impression. It comes natural for me. I do. I don't. Do I have a witch impression. What? Yes, you do. <laughs> I didn't know that. I'm melting. Oh, I'm melting. Oh, what a world! What a world! Yeah, I'm like, do I have a witch impression? Yes, you do. <laughs> oh, far, I'm, I'm just a, a, I'm more of a fly by night guy. Just make them up as I go. <laughs> I'm just thinking, can you do use an old voice, please? Hey, that's all that nice shit. It's scary the way it sounds like. I know. Yeah. Like that, you hear someone imagine waking up to that voice in the middle of the night. You shit yourself, you do an amber turd. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> you would if you heard that in the middle of the night, wouldn't you? Like, bloody hell. Um, in <laughs> but <laughs> that. That reference, uh, JS, like you sound like Fuzzy Bear, that just killed me off. Like, yes, she does. But Fuzzy Bear's also cute, so please don't reference her being fu Fuzzy Bear. <laughs> I think just her, her trying to be... But he's like, she's like, she's like, go and be a real man. Go, I'm not gonna do advice. Go and be a real man. Go and run off to the 15 other houses that you got, like, you know, um, you've not got anyone else. And you can just tell, I'm not, obviously, I don't know where that audio was carded, but you can just tell that she's probably followed him to an house that he's gone to to get away from her. And she's yeah. telling him to go and run away again. I'm like, girl, why? Do you know what I mean? Just leave the guy alone. Like, <laughs> where? Okay. I'm in, yeah. Like, I, I would need my own space as well. Like, you know, just leave me alone for a bit. Yeah. And There's another audio out there, too, where she just won't let him go. He's like, just say goodbye. You won't let me go. Jeez, I just I want to go. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not Talk to you in a couple in hours. A She's in a car, isn't mm. she? Why are you doing this to me? It's driving me crazy. You're making me... Oh, I'm gonna have a heart attack. I'm gonna die. You're killing me. You're killing me. Why would you stop? Don't be mean. Why can't we just have a, a normal argument? What is that? A normal argument. <laughs> well, I think me and you have normal arguments. Don't we like to just talk on like an argument? Damn, I don't I don't understand what her version of a normal argument is. Her version of a normal argument is is fists. Exactly. They, that's normal for her. She just gets to run the show and flip out whenever she's had it. I just get so mad sometimes. I just lose it. Oh, yeah, that's normal, right? Not. Um, Goodness gracious. And the other thing I wanted to say, guys, I have put this out on Twitter, but for anyone who in missed it or whatever there is in um, go going around who aren't by youtubers or whatever around people that i've never seen in the johnny depp community and the these apparent go are set up for witnesses who have testified in the johnny depp community i mean johnny depp first amber heard in community but yeah um and saying that they live in a car and all this kind of BS. Now, these, as far as I can tell, these GoFundMe's have not been authenticated and they haven't been um, shown to have any proof behind them. But when I, last time I checked it, it had a whole over $150 in donations. 
and yeah. it, that's quite scary. So I need everyone to just be wary that uh, this time, like we've had all the way through this step first heard, um, that we've been covering, we've had a lot of scammers, people pretending that they have intentions. A lady got scammed last year um, thinking she was messaging Johnny Depp. Now, this lady was vulnerable, I'm not saying that you guys are going to fall for that, but there is vulnerable people who are following this case and who would want to help in any way that they could. And this um, lady was made to believe that the money was going to um, children's charities, I think. It's going to the kids, the person said. Um, so please be wary of these GoFundMe's. Be wary because these people are going to make themselves look like they are um, part of Johnny Depp's team, part of the witnesses' team and stuff, and it's sketchy. There is no way that um, a witness would be able to set up a GoFundMe after testifying in a case and getting like um like a wage from it do you know what i mean mm -hmm. it's like a financial gain from it it would seem as unethical and you just can't do that yeah exactly right. do you not have anything to say about that what the gofundme no, the oh, GoFundMe being so. Oh yeah, no, just just be careful. I mean that that doesn't sound. I mean, were they trying to say that uh, what's his name that did the uh, the? That's one of them that I've seen. I've seen a few. The one you're on about is the Alejandro Romero. I can't. I don't think yeah. that's his name, right? Um, saying so that, that he's living in a car. That was a deposition, right? Mm -hmm. So Which he's in the deposition. 2021, by the way, January 2021. Right. So they're trying to say that this guy's living in his car. Mm -hmm. But he, it just looked like he was on his lunch break, <laughs> you know, doing the deposition, answering, you know, the questions and, and vaping at the same time. Like, honestly, if you're living in your car, can you afford a vape? Can you afford a phone? And then do Tokyo drifts. Yeah, yeah. and Tokyo drift out the parking lot. And when he's done, he's like, "All right, uh, I'm done with this. Any more questions? Say yeah, skirt." <laughs> but no, you don't. Just be careful. That's all I'm no, saying. Don't fall for it. Do not fall for it. In um, the lawyers, you can go on with the. Um, are you still going with your notes? Yeah. Okay, go on. I'll be right back. All right. I'll still be listening in though. Okay. <laughs> on my phone, stepping outside. My turn, cheater. Go on then. <laughs> Up you pop. <laughs> um, I was just going to... I was just going to say... Off you, um, Pop! Yeah, off you, Pop. Off, off you, Pop! Cockalica. Not a pickle. I call me pickle. You got your pickle. Um, <laughs> so, you're putting me off here. Off you, Pop! You are. Off you, Pop! Oh, my God. Um, pop, 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 Pop! Are you finished? Pop. Yeah, I'm finished. <laughs> I don't trust that he's finished. <laughs> I'm finished. But Gary's right. I got the eyebrow raise. See, they notice it. See, now everyone knows when I'm in trouble. That little left brow just goes. I can't help it. It's not intentional. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I'm popping off now. Pop. Um, I was just going to say as well that Amber Heard's team, 
they don't seem professional at all. Like they keep throwing out these profanities in such as oh, I don't want to swear, but such as like another word for a cat and talking about um Johnny Depp's unmentionables and Amber Heard's unmentionables and it's just like why can you can you not just say uh, um can you not cross examine somebody without swearing it's like every time they read a text message and it's got the c word in it it's like i really love saying that word as soon as she sees it, it's like did you say that such a person is a c you next tuesday and it's like she just says it proper blankly out and I can't remember who it was too. I think it was with Isaac, and Isaac was like, yeah, he calls that to me all the time. That's just something that he says. I think it was with Isaac. I can't remember. Another thing I wanted to bring up as well, guys, um, <clears throat> me and Gary had different, different, um, different feelings about this, but the Drew Barrymore um, clip on Twitter, I don't know if anybody in this chat has seen that, Um when I saw it, I felt disgusted by it, um, and it seemed very ignorant, the way that she came across, and she's got over 2,000 quote tweets to this tweet, because it's like she shared a little snippet from her shot, and it's where she is, I'm going to play it, I'm going to, what was the dream thing, I'm going to play it here on the stream, right, I don't have to show you the video, but I can play it an audience and it really really it upset me and it upset a lot of people uh, the yeah. Johnny, I can't go. handle the Johnny Depp Amber Heard it's I am on the feeder it's like one layer of crazy it's a seven layer dip of insanity it's it's truly amazing just to sit back and read the transcripts of what they've done to each other every night I get in bed I'm like he was like, this needs to be on TV. He lost the fingertip. He drew his name in blood on the wall. How about the burnt body and why a Honda Civic? Yeah. Why yeah. the Honda Civic? <laughs> you know the next day at Honda, they all came into the office and they were like, why did he pick us? <laughs> like, why? What? what? Who? It's, who? It's fascinating. It's so fascinating. I... I, I know that these are two people's real lives, and I know what it's like to have your life put out in public. Mm -hmm. um, I understand all the feelings, but they are actually offering up this information. That was it. That's all that she put out on Twitter. And that little clip, like, to me, it felt like she was laughing. Now, Gary was saying, you know, maybe she doesn't really know, she's just laughing at how extreme this is and you understand what he's saying and that is possibly the case but if you don't know the ins and outs of something like when it comes to abuse it's not something that you laugh at and it's not something that you make fun of oh he was driving blood with his finger like no and why would you think it's then a good idea to go and post that on twitter like this girl thought it was a good idea and in I've never had a problem with Drew Barrymore. Like I used to actually like her, but now in this, it seems like she's trying to just jump on a clout train and jump on a trend. And there's been a lot of people trying to jump on a clout train slash trend regarding this case, regarding what's gone down. And it's it just takes the piss. It really does. Um. Megan says, I feel like people like Drew feel this way because Amber has made a mockery of Johnny and he's not something to make fun of. He's quite a beautiful artistic soul. Sue says, I've lost all respect for Drew. Kay said, I've lost all respect for Drew. And what was Anthony thinking to him? Um, Kay says, I've lost all respect for Drew Barrymore and can't think out down Egypt. Um, Carol Stern, another one. Sean says, I've lost all respect for her. 
Okay, so she has apologized, but damage is done in my eyes. My opinion in her is just, I didn't know that she apologized. Let me have a look. Because there was a big, massive cry out for it. I'm not seeing an apology. Let me just see this quickly. Where's that apology, Kirsty? If you can send me a screenshot of it on t in Twitter. And it looks like she's actually deleted it off Twitter. I don't, you know, but when the tweet still stays up. Because it's not actually on her feed anymore. Because when you go down. Mm-hmm. See, you, you, you're going to make a point about us disagreeing on something when I walk away. <laughs> I don't need to come back. <laughs> she actually deleted it off, off her, it's, she deleted it off her Twitter page. Well, like I said earlier, this was, this was the only point that I was making. I didn't disagree with you on it being wrong, right? Because it, the only thing that I said was she just wasn't educated on the case. She has no idea. And she's just promoting her show, right? She probably thought, oh, this would be something that would be fun to talk about later and bring more people to you know, come to her show so she can talk about it. But maybe when I said give her the benefit of the doubt, she doesn't know yet. Maybe that's why it's been taken down. Yeah, you because know, now she's looking into it and realizing, ooh, okay, you know, this is for real. Yeah, a lot of people you got know, upset so, with her. Well, of course, of course, they would get upset with her. I'm, you know, and, and anybody who's been through that and, and and has been following the case like we have would, by all means, be upset about something like that. And even what's his name that was with her? Was, he he doesn't know. He's just having a laugh. That's all because of the extremities, just just because of how, um, you know, crazy it all is. Like the the poop gate, the the chopping off the finger, the quoting Monty Python. You know, yeah, they don't get it. They don't understand. All right. She sent. She's got. She's put a reply on. Kirsty sent it to me. I'll take a play it. Yeah. No. Hi, um, it has come to my attention um, that I have um, offended uh, people uh, with uh, making light of uh, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. And for that, I just want to deeply apologize and appreciate everyone who spoke out because this can be a teachable moment for me and how I move forward and how I conduct myself, um, I can be a more thoughtful and better person moving forward because all I want to do is be a good person. And um, I very much uh, appreciate the depth of this and um, I will grow and change from it. Okay. And I thank everyone for helping me grow along the way and teaching me. Thank you. Good. She's, she's realized how oh, that was a mistake and it was a mistake for her to make light of it and to, right. to just giggle, giggle along with it. I don't know if it's an authentic apology. I think she's seen this big, massive backlash. I thought she did. She have said that. She have did that. Well, like I said, like maybe she'll realize it. And uh, apologize for it, and she, she just did. You know, we we haven't even heard this yet, and this was the same point that I was trying to make earlier. That's all I was trying to make. She's probably just un uneducated about it. She's ignorant, like you said. You know, you gave her other you know, um, adjectives, but <laughs> I went with ignorant because <laughs> that's the one that spoke to me. I was like, yeah, it's it's just ignorance. She well, I thought it's ignorant, ignorant and inconsiderate 
Um, and it's dangerous to be making fun yeah. of abuse. It's quite frankly, and it upset me, like, to hear somebody making light of it. And, you know, I respect your opinion. Um, but I just felt so strongly about it when I listened to it. Like, why is it, like, why somebody with such a high platform making fun of abuse? And the fact that now she's used her platform to apologise is a great thing because th there's been a big, massive backlash. Um, there's been a big, 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 massive backlash. And hopefully, um, things on such a serious nature, the way she did it, it was making it out like, oh, it's just a, go um, a celebrity gossip column, or oh, they're giving this information out freely, but they're not. It's depositions. They're having to reveal the most deepest, darkest secrets. Johnny Depp is a yeah. very, very private man, and he's having to reveal everything to the world. Um, exactly. So she needs is, to do her research yeah, she in does. this case before she speaks on it at all you know don't just you know come out and make light of it when you don't know what's going on it may sound like a reality show to you uh just at face value it may seem something that's just kind of you know wonky or like what is this what the hell is this about this happened this happened they're saying this she's saying oh this is a real thing you know that's why it's actually in court and there's exactly. actual litigation going on. That's so, why it's in court but, you know, on the Jerry Springer show. Yeah, so it's a good thing she apologized. And you know, Sam already right, it's just damage control. It's very short. But, you know, and like Sue says, she's just trying to save her show. Yeah, I mean, that's what she has to do, you know, immediately. So good on her for taking it down. Good on her for doing an, an apology. But. I feel like she does need to, you know, uh, expand on that yeah. as far she as to... like really learning what this whole thing is about. And, and, you know, and Johnny does deserve an apology. Um, yeah. And justice. So. And she should, um, is she going to make comments on it? I think that like, um, she, like the ice, JD says she uses all the right words, but this is also true in what Sean says. This is a good reason why celebrities should make, not make comments about other celebrities. They're just going to make themselves sound stupid. And another thing is that if she is going to comment on this, and um, now she knows how many people are emotionally invested on the presence mm -hmm. of this, of the truth getting out, then she needs to only be saying facts of what I'm think, you know, things that are not in a biased way. Because to be biased about something that is so sensitive to people when you have such a high platform is dangerous. Yeah, that's very dangerous. It, don't I, like I mean, if, if she even knew, if she had just a little inkling of how deep this really was, I mean, look at the the petition. It's almost got, it's, it's close to 3 yeah, million good, now mm -hmm. that are, you know, against what, what this, the turd is doing. You know, it's not it's not a, a gender thing. It's it's um it's just the principle of what of that act. You know that that people have to go through, and that act that people inflict on others. I think yeah, a lot. Of, I think this case and this journey of Johnny getting justice and getting his word out has helped a lot of people who have been through abuse themselves compartmentalize and heal from their own abuse, whether it's, um, you know, getting their emotions out. Some people have communicated it on other people's live streams. People have found communities where they have the confidence to come find in people. Like this isn't just following a celebrity on his journey. This is people's real lives who have come together and invested their time, emotions. And some people have invested money, especially in people who have donated to charities, in people who have been like the content creators 
put a lot of their time and money in investigations on equipment and everything to make sure that everything is on point. And this is people's lives that they've invested into this to help Johnny on his journey. And um, this isn't just a load of random fans who love a celebrity. This is people wanting to see justice for somebody who was silenced. And with, yeah. with DV, a lot of times you do get silenced by your perpetrator you get put in a state of fear of talking about your story and i experienced that today more real than i could ever could um, yeah. on on tiktok um on tiktok i follow a lady and i'm not going to share the name of her channel um, just because she says she doesn't like people share, sharing her stuff sometimes. She likes people like finding it by accident. That's how she likes her channel going. Um, and she's a DV survivor. And the, she's like a female English version of John in the sense of she just says it how, she, how it is. But she's very loud like Rob. She's like a mixture of Rob and John, but in a woman and very straight to the point. And she has in um, like she live streams literally every day, and she covers um, DV. And she's made like a little safe space for people to feel safe to talk about DV. And more often than not, especially like when I'm walking to, like home from the school run and shopping and whatever, um, I you know um, if I see her online, I'll just um, watch her live stream. And even like about two weeks ago, um, I went up on. Um, I went up on the panel on her live stream and told my story. Now, I don't want to like, go over my whole story again, but long story short, I went through DV two times. Um, and now, the, with the first one, um, I, I did a video all about this today. Um, he was very, very mentally and emotional, like, most of it was mentally and emotional abuse. Like, put it one way, when I gave birth to my eldest daughter, she was born on the 1st of February, and I suffered a third-degree tear, which is where you have to have internal stitches. Now, on the 14th of February, on Valentine's Day, he accused me of cheating because I, I didn't want any, in, any intimacy with him in the bedroom. Um, he accused me of being a slag and sleeping around and I've never cheated on anybody in my life and it's something that really upsets me when people accuse me when I, in the past when I've been accused of cheating because one of the reasons because of this point um, but when I was pregnant with my daughter he strangled me and then we broke up and then we got back together and then I got pregnant with my son um, and with my little boy um, when I was 22 weeks, when I was about 20 weeks pregnant with him, um, someone clicked in me and woke up and said, Keela, enough's enough, you're going to have two kids, you can't do this anymore, you can't bring them up with a, with a father who's acting this way and living in fear and always being put down. So I told him that it was, like, he lived, it was like a long-distance relationship in a way because he lived, like, um, far away from me. I'm not going to say where he lived. I'm not going to mention his name. I'm not going to dox him. Um, but he lived quite far away from me. You'd have to get a train, which would take you about two and a half hours or three hours away from me. And um, one day I was, uh, like I said, I ended it with, I sent him a text message. I ended it, I said, listen, I'm done. Um, I can't do this anymore. Good luck with your future, but I am out. I'm done. And I blocked him on everything on all social medias. I got my mum to block him on everything. At the time, I still lived with my mum. Got I got him blocked on everything and all my devices. <clears throat> and I remember it was a Friday. I don't remember the date, but I remember it was a Friday. And the shop over the road from where I lived, they had like a deli sandwich bar at the back. They had lovely sandwiches. And you could also get things like chicken nuggets and chips and stuff if you wanted to. And my little sister, um, who was about four, maybe five at the time, she was off school. And I remember why she was off school. She, the night before, she did splits and she, um, she pulled a muscle and she had to stay off school because um, she was in pain, bless her. 
and I mean, mum was at work, so that day, that Friday, I was looking after my sister, and I was looking after my daughter, obviously, and I was 22 weeks pregnant. I went to the shop, got myself a nice, lovely ham cheese salad bar, got the girls some chicken nuggets and chips, and we walked home. And as we was walking home, coming out of the side street, he came out the side street like he was just a random person in the area. Like, what what the hell why is he here? And he came over to us and he even um can we talk about everything? I remember my daughter in the prime, every sister with me. And he went, Can we talk about everything? I want to sort things out. And I went, No, I'm done. I'm done. That's it. It's over. We're done. And I said, I need to focus on the kids now. And he said, he said, and then he he was like the the lights went off at home or something. And he just went, Can I say goodbye to my daughter? And he bent down, he gave my daughter a kiss and he went, Daddy, he said, So well, Daddy loves you, we'll always remember that. And then he stood up and he punched me in the face. And I managed to turn the pram around so the pram was like facing the wall. And my sis I managed to meet my sister, he kicked he kicked me in the back and he hit the back of my head. And he proper full on attacked me until a man scared it felt like it went on for ages. Um but a man shouted and he and, and he ran off. Um and I I remember this man coming came running to me and I was only a few steps from my house and he had my daughter with me, my sister with me, and they opened the door and I just screamed for my brother. I said, he's just, he just beat me up, he's just beat me up. And my brother was like, what? My brother was confused, waking up, like, well, how's he even here? And then um, I rang the police and the police came literally instantly. Helicopters out looking for him. Um, police going around the, the whole state looking for him. And he managed to get all the way back home um, to where he lived without the police catching him. Um, he managed. I, thankfully, I knew his address, so I gave it him. And when the police caught him, he told the police that it must have been his twin brother that he'd stayed home all that time. Um, obviously, it was him. He hadn't got a twin brother, by the way. Um, he's, anyway, going forward, um, when it came to going to court, I'll, after that, the, 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 I had four police officers escort me to the hospital. And in going forward to the court, he never turned up at the court. And he got found guilty of um, the the incident without him even being there. He didn't turn up. Um, I told my, I gave my testimony, and then the um, the judge went out to the chambers, and she was back out within five minutes. Called us back in, found him guilty in all accounts um, of everything. He didn't have to go to prison or anything, but he did have to have like a curfew, um, and he had to have um, like go to these probation things and like, anger management and all that BS. Um, but then after that, um, I haven't. The only time I spoke to him after that, and I told Gary this, um, was when my son was born, and I sent him a picture. I went, "Here's your son. Here's a picture of your son." And after that, I not spoke to him. And then today I go on my friend's live stream who I'll talk to you about, who does a DV live stream on TikTok. And I was just gobsmacked because he was there on the panel and I, and it just I got these big massive panic attacks and it just hit me out of nowhere. And all the fear came back. And at the time Gary was in bed because he had a late night at his friends. I was trying to ring Gavin and I couldn't get and I couldn't breathe and I just typed in the chat I put because she knew my story I told her but she didn't know it was him she went to know and uh, and I, I just put in the chat um this is awkward that's my ex and I've literally left a few minutes later but all he put was he was he was there and he went yeah that's my ex things were never easy with her she always had to have things her way Right, and then and then I left, and I came back into the chat about five ten minutes later, and he weren't on the panel anymore. So I thought that he'd left, and I said to I said put in the chat, 
I blocked him, by the way, because I didn't know he had an account, but as soon as I seen his account, I blocked it. And um, and I said to her, I said, that's my ex who beat me up when I was pregnant with my son. And, and he's the father of my two kids, and he was in the chat, and he's at it. Um, I pay for them kids. By the way, guys, I only applied for child maintenance last month and I've, I've never had one payment off him yet. I get, start getting him next month and it's only £30 a month that I'm going to get. Literally nothing. Um, he's never paid anything. His daughter is eight. Um, and he said, and I've applied for a C100 and my family have signed for it. A C100 is where you apply for, go for a court order and to get access to see your children, um, which... He's basically trying to, I don't necessarily believe that he has, he has actually done this, but if he has, it's like he's still trying to torture me. He ain't, because I'd have to go, I'd have to go through the process if he did it. He won't get access because of the, like, when, when he did what he did to me, I, I had to sign a contract to say that, um, I would not allow him access to children with social services and my children are my number one priority. I am not going to put them in harm's way. Um, and I still feel like they're shaking now. <clears throat> and that's why I made that video today. And the main reason I made the video was to show my friend the what, what he did to me. Because um, the way that she knows him is from a community. I don't want to say the name of the community, but this community help people in Ukraine and help them move to new places in England and that. And apparently he's become part of that. Now, my ex, he was always that type of person where he tried to make himself look like a do-gooder and he tried to charm people, look how amazing I am. You know, he, he, he was always good at everything and could do everything. He was always so amazing and so helpful to everyone. But really, he didn't know shit. And I found out after the stream, I was talking to my friend in DMs, and um, she was telling me that he said that he was in the army. Now, he's never been in the army. He's been in and out of prison since he was a teenager. He's never, unless he went to bloody cadets or something as a, as a kid, which doesn't count. Um, he's never been in the army. Um, and he's one of the, he's like an impulsive liar. And he'll say these lies to try and make himself look good. Like, he's all, whatever you've done, he's already done it and done it one better, basically. Like with my spiritualism, he already knew how to talk to spirit. He already knew how to do the guards. He'd done readings and stuff. My uncle is a master in martial arts. Oh, he's he he he's got a black belt in martial arts. He's this, he's that. I mean, he's always one one above, one in front, and it's it, that's always the way it is. But anyway, today. Um, I'm sorry guys going on about this like I know it's got nothing to do with Johnny Depp um, but my head just got turned west and it kind of felt, felt like even now like I feel myself shaking a little bit as I'm talking about this I don't know if you can really see that I'm trying to hold it in um, but it's like I relived it all today and I've not been in that place for years and I was able, like, I have been, the only time I've got emotional really is when I talked about in on Rob Rules, but what I mean of being in that place is today I had that fear, I had them panic attacks, and I was there in, in, in the kitchen, I came in here in the kitchen, and my daughter came in, and I just had my head in my hands, and I was trying to calm myself down, I was having this horrible panic attack, and my daughter, my daughter went, Mummy, you look in pain. I had to like try and snap myself out of it so she didn't see me that way. But um it, I hate that something that happened to me because of him still affects me. It's it's it still affects me and I feel embarrassed that it still affects me sometimes. Don't ever feel embarrassed about that, though. 
go and try and help people to heal and i'm here like having big panic attacks and it just was a shock don't ever ever say that you feel embarrassed about feeling that way and that you know when, when these things i mean this is this is just like going through it all over again having to see him live on a panel and just straight up be a, a phony yeah <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, at you. Thank you, I needed that then. Neither. I did. I did need that. Thank you for dragging me out of it. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I I don't know if you want me to keep going on it, but I just don't want yeah. you to feel. You can say what you want. You're, you're fine. It's just one of them where the, it it just the only way I can explain it is, um think of the time that you ran the fastest you've ever ran and you felt your heart beating in your chest that's how i felt today like yeah. and i felt like i felt like i was shaking like i was cold but i weren't cold and it was over they already called chicken wings dipped in mango salsa that sounds absolutely nom, nom, nom. <laughs> especially mango salsa bit I think it is important to be able to to um, share these things. Like what I'm gonna like try and do now is because I'm sure I had a restraining order on him. I'm gonna try and look into getting and because it could have run out. I think they only last five years. I'm gonna try and get a restraining order on him again, but of me and the kids. Um, I would because you can especially. Get that. Well, especially since now that you know you, you've been in contact. Well, I've not been in contact. With him. No, no, no. I mean, you just through that, even now he knows that now you're on his mind, and he can go through some crazy phase where he wants to try to find you. So I would do that, you know, ASAP. Especially since I'm not there now, you know. Thank you, Rika. What? I don't know Did if you, you want me to keep. You can see where you want. Don't don't feel don't feel bad about it. I was just saying thank you to Eco saying that I can um relate to it. And that's what pushed me to do to do this YouTube channel with the with the Johnny Depp store because I like for a lot of the people here when you've been through it yourself, you can see it in another person. You don't have to go away by the way, Kari. Come back. Um you can see it, do you know what I mean? Hey, if Johnny can tell the world, why can't we tell our friends? Exactly. I know I'm not dox the guy, he kind of like dox himself today because when I, as soon as I said, hey, this is awkward, that's my ex, he went, yeah, I'm her ex. He could have just, you know what I mean, ignored me. Um, no, he just, he doxed himself. Yeah. Um, Soup says, I love blending peaches with a whole loaf of bread and mustard. Spicy <laughs> peach. <laughs> I think I'm going to try that tomorrow for lunch. <laughs> no, but he did. He did. He doxxed himself, you know, and, and you're able to call him out, like talking about he's in, in the army. That offends me because I actually was in the army and, you know, the United States Army, but I was, I served my country. And if he's going to try to use that to make himself look good and just straight up lie about it, since you said he's just been in and out of jail since high school. I mean, what's this guy trying yeah. to do? Yeah. He said he's um, got PTSD from him. Um, PTSD, PTSD from seeing people lose their lives. Um, are you safe from him? Yeah, I am. The only thing that worries me is because I commented on that live stream and my all my social medias are the same name. 
as you can see it down here, or wherever you is when you're on a phone. My name, do you know I mean? it's not my, my legal name, obviously, but it's so he can go on any social media and search Keila Talks, and he's going to find me everywhere. Um, mm -hmm. Put finger. Um, it, oh, you'd have to say sorry, suits. I, I don't. I'm not trying to look for sympathy. I'm just trying to get it off my chest, if that makes sense. Um, like no, I feel calmer now. I feel calm. I feel calmer now. Um, I do. I feel a, a lot more calmed down. But like earlier, earlier on, like my body was here and my head was somewhere like my brain was somewhere in Egypt or West Virginia or something. It was weird. It's like I had left the building and gone somewhere else. Yeah, I can imagine. I can only imagine. Yeah. I need a stick now. It's... We can we can we can switch gears and try and bring all this drowsy mood. You can don't you wanna <laughs> try and do something well, look, for... Hey, remember I said I was in the army and I can prove it. Here's my class from boot camp right here. Oh. You don't get one of these unless you were in there, and this is me right here. Ah, look how cute he looks. That's your boy. Skinny as a chicken. But okay now. And if he's gonna sit there and say, Oh, I was in the army. Nah, mate. You, you don't claim something like that unless you've actually been there. You know, because you're gonna piss off a lot of servicemen who actually did serve their country. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But, He's just, uh, I don't know how you put up with him. Well, I didn't. I decided just, to put it down and say. No, nah, good on you. I'm glad you did. Because some, some people, they just, they, they feel like they have no choice. They have to stick around. Especially when kids are involved. Like, I don't know, I can't do this by myself. But you did. You did it. You know, you took a stand, you made the decision, and you did it by yourself, and you've been doing it by yourself all these years. You know, you don't have to anymore. You didn't do it by yourself the last three months. That's just because, you know, it was a blessing. I was able to get over there, and, you know, we had our time together. So that's why I can't wait to get back. Uh, I need to protect my queen. A shared load is a load haft. <laughs> and requires a little, it requires uh, some more bog rolls. Bog rolls. Um, Sue says, I can not talk to my youngest son about what happened to me because he was there for part of it. None of my friends or family want to hear any of it. They just tell me I should have left him soon. That's what I eat or when people oh you know I, I warned you about him but the thing is you have to see it yourself you have to like open your eyes and wake up and be able to smell the roses and take the, to tint, the rose tinted glasses off and be like oh this isn't this isn't a beautiful person in front of me they might mm. look all right on the outside but inside it's just icky black stuff because they've got a soul full of tar and evilness. <laughs> icky black stuff. Yeah. So cute. Well, um, I'm gonna. I, I gotta go move my truck again, so you can talk to the chat of. I'll leave you to it, but I'll be back in just a moment. Okay. Guys, don't go well, anywhere. Well, don't be too long. I wanted, I wanted you to help cheer everybody up after me depressing everybody. <laughs> oh, no. Everyone here, they understand. They know exactly what you've been through, and a lot of them have gone through it, too. I mean, anyone else, if you want to, feel free share your stories we'll talk about it 
you know. And it's 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 good. It's a it's a part of healing, isn't it? Mm. You know? And who better to do it with than this one here? And your boy Gary. I'll keep mm. you laughing. Gary is skinny. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Don't get don't get Keely started. She's always making fun of my chicken legs. Yeah, it's got chicken legs, you know. <laughs> I remember one day when he was But like, I have nice calves. <laughs> he's got chicken calves. When no, he, I got was, good calves. Wait <laughs> one day, right, he was curled up in bed. It was like in the daytime, he went and had a nap or something. And he just looked like dead lot. Petite, I'm like, oh, I can just roll you up in a little ball here. With your hey. little chicken legs behind your ears. I was detoxing and I lost a lot of weight. Shut it. No. <laughs> you always had little chicken legs. <laughs> well, I can't help it if Manx are built a bit bigger than Asians. Well, we walk a lot here in England, we do. I know. We do a, we oh, do a lot. Good night, Gallet. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out. It's so nice to see you. Night, Gallet. Gallet, Gallet, Gallet. Good, good. All right, I'll be back. Love you. <coughs> Kirsty says, I'm not depressed. I had an upset last night, but spoke about it in the NFT Discord. There are many survivors there too, you know, in Never Fear Truth Discord. I feel like that there is a lot of survivors in this community anyway. The, and, you know, it's just, you say here, um, I feel generally supporters are 50% fans, 50% survivors. I feel like that in... Um, I feel like that that there's also a lot of people who are both as well. I find them the survivor. People who have admired his work. Um, and and it's call it's so common and it's horrible how common it actually is. But Johnny Depp using his voice, I feel like he's giving other people the chance to use their voice to be able to share their stories. Of what they've gone through and now in that in that space like i've i've um met a lot of people who have experienced so many different things i had ron i think he's called ron on a few weeks ago now he has a tick he's, he's from tiktok and if, he has like over a hundred thousand subscribers on TikTok. And his, you know, he's a male survivor. And it's important for both sides to anybody, whether you're a man or woman or an alien, to be able to share your story and and share your experiences. Nothing wrong with chicken. Chicken's tasty. Um, especially with a bit of Asian seasoning, you know. I speak chicken, actually. <laughs> Did a theatre class where we sold refrigerated door-to-door -door in chicken. Loads of fun. <laughs> we did a theatre class. You got to talk in chicken. Yeah, a lot of people don't bought it. And a lot of men don't bought it. And that's the sad part, really, that there's so many people who fear or are scared. And they just don't know how to um, be able to use their voice.
in Maori, you know. We do understand, you're right, Gary. It's part of healing. Yeah. And there are people realising they are in one over this court case and are seeing so many similarities in their relationships. Because sometimes it takes seeing it from the outside to, and it takes that conversation being started for people to realise the, the signs and the red flags and all that. Now I feel like I'll be able to see a red flag all the way now, like a bloody beacon in the, you know, might be down the way in the distance, but I'll be able to spot it because we've all looked into and communicated about it. And once you hear like other people's experiences, and, and it's like they all read the same handbook as well, these perpetrators. It's like they all read the same book and they all know what they're doing. And they're all taking like notes from each other, you know, to act the same certain way. And it's scary. It's scary how many of them there is out there. Like you probably walk past so many of them in the street each day Sorry guys, I was just reading some that. Yeah, talking, talking, talking chicken, most of us made the sales today. <laughs> How many sales did you get in chicken, you got? Was it cluck cluck or cluck 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 cluck? Yeah, well, it's not weird. With all the red flags, thought the is it? It's like, why did I not see them until now? You don't see them until you're on the outside of it, and when you're compartmentalizing, and when you're um, talking about some people, like, wow, like this is some crazy shit. How did I not realize this? One second, guys. <laughs> Did my handbook get pinched? You're nothing like that. Oh, oh. Although I talk too much, I shut up. You don't talk too much, Kirsty. I love you. What's the point? I mean, what's the point when we're talking to Jack if nobody's talking? Like most of the stream, I couldn't really follow the comments because I was obviously going through everything. Whereas this is the part of the stream that we can just chill out. Eco says, buck, 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 my ex is still stalking me, telling anyone who will listen I'm someone I'm not. Reckons he can have me back whenever he wants, is what he said this week. 
He's asking strangers coming up on my window and battle my jaw to scare me. <laughs> she was on a bus with texting me. <laughs> to set the record straight, she was telling me to hurry up. <laughs> hey. But I'm back now. What are you Keep about? The book. When you were texting me just then. No, I asked him to tell me. I asked him. No, I asked him to tell me how many sales he got in chicken. How many what? Because he said that oh, he had to do in. Yeah, he said he had to do theater classes. Oh. Where he had to talk in chicken. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone see the TikTok vid where um, Johnny and Amber are singing and at the end it shows all him back and like a dog it's all on it? No, I'm not seeing that, Sue. What? <laughs> no. I haven't seen that, but would love to. Send you, the you've almost. You've only just got on TikTok, haven't you? Yeah. Gary's on I'll TikTok just... now. Yeah. But only because I wanted to see the face of my nemesis. Mm. The one who stole my handbook. I stole your handbook. No. <laughs> Kidding. No, no, no. Kidding. No, 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 no. Ooh. 2.9 already, yeah? Look at this. Signatures on the petition. Yeah. And then. Wow. That's awesome. It is awesome. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I'm a she. I never knew that you was a she, Eco. <laughs> now we've set the record straight. Eco's a she. Um, Eco is a her. She's a lady. She's a lady. She's a lady. Ooh. Ooh. I'm so tired, but I just can't seem to get no sleep. Cause Keely's hogging all the sheets So I gotta go downstairs to the couch But when I step on the toys I say ouch What's all these toys here? I thought I told them to put them away Still can't seem to get away from these ouchies on my feet when I just want to eat. <laughs> ha, ha, oh, my sausage rolls get cold. <laughs> And I'm feeling very old Cause these kids won't let me go to sleep But I can't help but see that they're so sweet to Papa Yeah, they're so sweet to Papa Yes, I miss my 
little monkeys. <laughs> Same mission. I miss them so much. Evan says, ah, oh, he misses the kids. <laughs> Uh -huh. So he goes like, still have nightmares of hot legos. <laughs> yeah, but in my, uh, it, for me, it's like dinosaurs and <laughs> Batman yeah, figures. My little girl, my, my little girl <laughs> loves dinos. <laughs> and the worst ones is um, them little brushes that she has for dolly hair. A dolly's hair and they're like them hard plastic brushes and when you stand it, it's like standing on a plug but with multiple prods yeah you know what i miss the most though right. every time without fail i come couch. downstairs and, well, yeah i do miss the couch the couch is very comfy no me but... when the kids climb on me on the couch oh I, I can't i can't even guys all right look Kaylee can go in the living room, have a seat on the couch, and watch a film with the kids, and everything's calm. The second I try to do that, I become this this climbing thing. <laughs> I can even have a nap in there. I'm getting yeah, quiet. She can have a nap. She can have a nap. I sit down. I'm like, okay, what are we watching? Let's watch. All of us are just. Do, 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 do. <laughs> my spot. My spot. My spot. My spot. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, I can't breathe. And Kaylee's just off in the distance looking around the corner, like, ha 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 ha. So funny. So cute. Yeah, but I can't breathe. <laughs> I'll get you a straw then. <laughs> no, but I do miss that though. Like, you know, walking downstairs into the living room, and then immediately the eldest. She comes up and just straight away wraps her arms around me. I'm I'm not even made two steps into the living room yet. It's just boom, immediately. And then the boy too. He's the same way, but he likes to punch. He's like, "Fight me, he fight likes me!" Grab your legs as well, doesn't it? Oh yeah, he grabs my leg, and I just have to drag him across the living room. And then the the other one, so sweet. Hug, pick up. Hug, pick up. <laughs> oh jeez. All right, you're getting heavy. What's mommy feeding you? Oh, chicken nuggets, I see. All right. <laughs> oh, she's, so yeah. cute. And she's like, cute. are you coming home today? Oh, and she's the most sassy one, too, though. <laughs> she is. When you were giving her some sour candies, and she was like, you think that's funny? <laughs> She, she literally said that. You think that's funny? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's hilarious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's so cute. Well, I didn't give him the sour sweets. The sour sweets are out of a magazine, and there was them toxic waste ones. Oh, and no. Them really <laughs> sour toxic waste ones. And they thought it was like, God, oh, sweets in the magazine. And um, <laughs> the little lad put one in his mouth first, and I managed to get it all on camera. I can't share it, like, that's one thing I don't do, share them on social media. But he put it in yeah, his mouth no. first, and he's like, <laughs> and then I had to, like, kind of like coax the other two to try it. Like, Go on, just put it in your mouth and have a try. You know what the, the lad's like? Because he's had fussing the lad, he won't. He's he's got sensory issues. Mm. <laughs> yeah, he's so funny. <laughs> he likes to lick. But he'll go <laughs> around and like lick, lick, it. People's, ah. lick people's skin and lick things that you shouldn't lick, like street signs and leaves. He won't eat <laughs> lettuce, but he'll eat a leaf that's off the floor, that kid. <laughs> Well, next time you give yeah. him a salad, just tell him it's leaves. I got it from the garden. It's leaves. 
<laughs> Hold on, pretend you're a slug. Nom nom nom. <laughs> oh, Sue, so, yeah. I, I love them too, Sue. So I do. Mm -hmm. The hardest bit for yeah. Jay was when they get teens. What? Kirsty. Where is it? What you say? She put the hardest bit for Jay was when they hit the teens. Now his own ah. kids are hitting teens, and that's where they're more hard work. No, we're all. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, yeah. That's okay. No. I know how to handle that. My eldest one is pretty much like a preteen right now, and the emotional outburst. Sometimes she can be the worst behaved um, because she knows things that will get the other two in trouble. And because I was brought up with brothers <laughs> who would always get me in trouble, I don't fall for it the way my mum did. I'm like, come on now. You knew that was naughty, babe. And she'd be like, yeah, but he did it. And about her brother who's two years younger than her. But she told me to about a sister who's three years younger than her. I'm like, well, if she told you to walk off a cliff, would you? <laughs> no. Right then. So why do you think it's a good idea to make a potion with me shampoo? So now I can't wash my hair. <laughs> yeah, she's she's a bit of an instigator, but you know that's what the eldest is supposed to do. It's cute, but you know, Kitty's always the um, the calm and collected one, and and most you know clear headed. But she doesn't see what I see <laughs> when she's on her computer with the headphones on. And I'm the one looking at the little rascals doing what they do. They're all guilty. <laughs> all three of them. They learn and they do things based on each other's habits. And then they try to blame each other for it. It's, oh, they always blame it's each funny. Other. It's cute, but I mean, that's what kids do, yeah? yeah but I think, be. you know, when who, who said the thing about the teenagers? Um, Kirsty, yeah. Kirsty. I feel like, honestly, I feel like there would there wouldn't be a better situation for these youngins to grow up in than with Keely and I, because the way we balance each other out. If I could ever get them to listen to me, these kids, because well, that will come right with now, time. Yeah, they just see me as a plaything right now, but I can see they do listen because, yeah. But after that, it's just like, all right, go play. <laughs> We're just going to do it anyway. <laughs> I'm just like, ah, well, all right then. This is what it is. Go to bed. I'll clean up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, well, again. Um, I can't believe it's ten past one already in the morning. We've been live for three hours, by the way. Oh wow! All right then. Well, thank you guys for sticking around. Yeah, I know it's always well, fun was, to hang out. It was good to do members only tonight, but I'm thinking that we should do it tomorrow. Um. Yeah. Um, but I don't know what time because obviously the trial is on, and. Tomorrow is the day before the kids go back to school. We get the kids off school tomorrow in England because it's May Day, which they don't celebrate in, in America, which is Labor's Day, which means people who work get a day off. And people have a, there's, there's always loads of festivals in the UK and, and stuff. Uh, I'm not getting you're a only, day off. You're only mocking it because you're jealous. Like, you wish you had a day off. <laughs> No, because when you say May Day, I'm like, every day in that house is May Day. And when I say that, I'm talking about U.S. terms, because like in the military, May Day, May Day means, you know, help me. <laughs> There's something going down. This is May Day, May Day. <laughs> it's an emergency. <laughs> well, yes. Carrie, I'm always anxious. <laughs> what you call it? Um, it 
I don't think there's a festival going on near me tomorrow. It'd be good if there was, though. Mm. Um, anyway, guys, I'm going to end the stream here. Thank you all for coming. And I hope, thank you a lot. There's a lot here still who have stuck since the beginning of the stream. I've stuck it out for three hours. So thank you for sticking around. And I love you, I love you all to bits. And mm. I'll see you for the next one. And I'll get some card streams this week, hopefully, when the kids are back in school in the daytimes. Because whilst the case is on, it's hard. And mm. I need to go to bed in a minute. Good night, yeah. everybody. Good night. Oh, one more thing before you end it. If 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 some of you aren't members yet, consider it so that you can be on the member streams because there'll be so much more crazy than these live streams and so much fun. <laughs> you come hang out with us. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, take care, everybody. I love you all. Good night. Good night. Good night.